Damn, I almost timed it perfectly. You just got the beginning of the next song. The cross fade out, followed by the bump of the next song. But I did I did my best. How's it going, everybody? Welcome to the Oblivion Chill Stream. The Chill Stream currently available on YouTube and the most fun you can have on YouTube. Um, uh, I saw some questions asked, two in particular. Uh, one of them was, what kind of build am I going for? Uh, I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. Um, the other one was, what mods am I using? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it. I'm, I, I'm, 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 I'm vanilla right now. No mods. Um, any kind of bug fixes I'm worried will make the game less funny. So, I'm going, like, modless in Seattle currently. And we'll see how that goes. I know that mods make the game better to play, but um, yeah, that's not always the point of a stream, is to make it good for me to play, you know what I mean? Can we vote on a build? I mean, I can do polls. I can do polls, so <clears throat> it's not outside of my purview as King of Stream, which I think is the special title here ultra wide seemed to work okay in gameplay by the way venues it's like kind of 
uh, is it is it letterboxing when it's horizontal as well? Um, should I turn the volume down a little bit? Maybe just a touch. Turn it down. A uh, decibel. Oh, okay. So well, I've learned today that this is not an all tab friendly game. So hopefully I never need to leave the actual game. <laughs> <clears throat> Stealth Conjurer? Okay, interesting. Um, yeah, rarely do I do magic in these games, to be honest with you. You should probably decide sooner rather than later. Stealth Archer? Stealth Archery um, is not as, like, universally effective, I think, in Oblivion as it is in Skyrim, right? It's probably a good thing, because it's stupid good in Skyrim. I don't know. We'll get we'll get to it when we get to it. For now, let's just start the game. Let's listen to let's click through this invisible menu thing that should have a, a hard background and listen to the emperor deliver his uh, monologue. I was born 87 years ago. Spell sword is good, I think, in a For 65 game. years, I ruled as Tamriel's emperor. But for all these years, <laughs> hey, thank I've you, never Johnny Bravo. Been a ruler Ten dollars, touch dudes. magic only. Oh no, you put me in I a bad seen spot. The gates of oblivion, <clears throat> beyond which no waking eye may see. <laughs> Appreciate that. Behold, we'll, in uh, darkness, we'll talk about it. All right, we'll talk about it. Cheers, everybody. Good morning. Good afternoon or good night, depending on where you are. This is the 27th of Last Seed, the year of Akatosh 433. These are the closing days of the Third Era and the final hours of my life. <laughs> this, uh... This was one of the first games I owned back when I bought an Xbox 360, the console version of Oblivion, so definitely very nostalgic for me as well. That's loud as, uh, as hell, at least on my hands. The variation in Oblivion sound. Sorry about the sound difference. Once it goes into the game, I'll, I'll turn it down. turn the music down as soon as possible of course now it'll actually be balanced like it was before i had to turn my own turn my monitor down about halfway there yeah that the 360 version i had that xbox arcade as well so i could only have one game installed on it as a, at a time i i i first saw it on my uh at a family gathering on my cousin's pc I was watching him play it i was like what's this he's like i'm a vampire in this game i'm like you could just be a vampire or not be one. How the hell does that work? I'd never seen like a game that was th that open ended before. Anyway, <clears throat> let's see here. Now, I guess it really depends on what kind of a build. I mean, does Obliv I guess you do have builds because you've got major skills. You got to level up in Oblivion, right? So you can't. It's not like Skyrim where your build is just everything is good. Let's see. We'll pick something kind of interesting. <clears throat> Thanks, Andrew. I appreciate that. I try to I try to give a little bit of a mixed bag, a little bit of everything. Variety is the spice of life, and all that. Everybody loves Dark Elf. I know we talked about this last time. I bet you Dark Elf have like the like exotic races. I think Dark Elf's probably the most popular. Now nobody likes High Elf. Nobody likes High Elf. The problem with High Elf is that they're all 
ass clowns. Khajiit in this game is look out out of this world. Nord, Orc, Red Guard, Wood Elf. <laughs> Wood Elf sort of has the classic Oblivion like whimsy to it, right? Oh, everybody wants uh, a Khajiit. <laughs> Thank you, Melania, for the donation. By Azura, it's the grand streamer. I can't believe you're live reading my super chats. Is this something you need? Can I subscribe? Hit the bell, perhaps. <laughs> Thank you for the dono. I appreciate that. <laughs> uh, breathe. Oh no, you're making me not want to specifically pick a Khajiit after saying that. Um. Um, Humphrey, probably a good name. Kind of hit in my in my head. All right, Khajiit. Bear in mind, Khajiit. You, Khajiit faces. Well, I don't think you can make them look as funny. Uh. I wonder what the song is that you use in the background of your Skies of Arcadia video when you're talking about the history of the Dreamcast. It's so chill and captivating. Ah, man. I... There's two songs I specifically remember from that video, and I can't guarantee it's either of them. One of them... One of them is from the Fantasy Star Online soundtrack, and one of them is from, from Panzer Dragoon Saga. Um, I don't remember the exact names of songs. I just remember those are the games that I pulled music from. I'm sorry. I could, like, if I could alt tab this game, I could actually probably look through my files to see what it was. But hopefully that gives you some kind of a start. Um, I started putting music names, like, time stamped in my videos after that. Unfortunately, I, uh, I don't know why I didn't do it for that video. <clears throat> Hey, listen, how about a lusty Argonian mate? Also, thumbs up the stream path. <laughs> Thank you, Silvar. Um, the animal races seem to, like, win out, eh? It's either Argonian or... Or... How about how about I do a poll? Um, I'm gonna see if I can do it on my phone, because I can't alt-tab the game. Uh... Let's see here. I don't know, can you even? Can you even do a poll on your telephone? I have no idea. I don't think you can. Maybe. There's no button. There's no button to do it. I can do, uh... Oh, Jess, yeah, maybe. Can you make a poll? <clears throat> As a modder, or yeah. I don't know. It was just the, the poll button. You don't have anything like that? Oh, that's... That's stupid. Well, I don't know. Everybody chime in right now. What do you want? What do you? Which race do you want? Just uh, shout it into the ether and I'll tally it mentally. I'm very good at uh, keeping tabs on things. Orc, Dark Elf, Banana, not a race, thank you though. I'll duly noted. Argonian. Orc, Cat, Cat, Red Guard, Argonian. Two Argonian, three Argonian, Bosmer, Nord VPN, Khajiit. Uh, Shrek. <laughs> Furry Bill, thanks for the $10, Dobu. It's not female Argonian, I'll kick a stray cat. No, you won't, Silvar. That's, that's what we call an empty threat. Silvar couldn't turn a fly. <clears throat> Be a high elf to suffer. Well, it seems like most of them lean towards um, either 
Khajiit or Argonian, so I'll be a Khajiit. <clears throat> um, let me just alter some things here. I usually pick Wood Elf by default in these games when I first play them. This is like, um, so when you look at your cat from a side profile versus when you look at them like straight on, <laughs> this is like the difference in what their faces look like. It's actually true. Eh? Eh? A little bit of the razzle dazzle? He's <clears throat> heavy. Oh, damn. Big boy. Yeah, definitely heavy. I like this little sort of uh, excess neck skin type situation going on here. <clears throat> oh, oh no, I don't like that. He's more aerodynamic this way because his head slices the air when he runs, but I prefer the wide head so he can kind of stop on a dime. I don't think this character creator is powerful enough to make any any actual cat looking characters. Cheekbones low high. Look, this is such a big smile. Everybody's happy. There we go. Big smile. Yes, perfect. Uh no, Gaunt is better there. This is sort of somewhere between, like, jovial and demonic. I can't really decide. <clears throat> More like a weak chin, I guess. This, uh, Humphrey's getting left at the shelter, I'm sorry to say. <laughs> All right, I'm eating my words before when I said you couldn't really make animal characters look as funny in this game. You can make them look pretty funny. Forehead. Do you like your forehead to be more back or forward? What a, what a monstrosity. First, no, drawn, I think's better. I like the smiling. <laughs> it's almost looking in the wrong directions, too. Which does... <laughs> Everything I do that makes it smile more. <laughs> it makes it ten times worse than it was before, somehow. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. I don't know. I feel like he's pretty much perfect as he is. I wouldn't change anything about him, really. <laughs> Special kitty. <laughs> Tone. Oh, here we go. Beard. Oh, yes. Beard. Just like I remember it. This, this has given him, like, some, uh, the Halloween flashlight under the chin style lighting that adds a dynamic of, of terror to the situation for me. This, he looks like, um, in Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the first one, when they're in the house, there's, like, a lampshade made of, like, a human face. That's kind of what he looks like. That's a compliment, by the way. Looks like Shonda's true. <laughs> like, these options are just... Oh, there we go. The contrast. Alright. Name him Lamp Face. Two words or one word? Two words? How about just lamp? I guess lamp face is sort of like funnier as like a schoolyard insult. Lamp kind of suits the 
bumbling, idiotic nature of the character. I love Lamp. Yeah, okay. Lamp, Lamp, I think it's Lamp is probably the right way to go about this. <clears throat> okay, beautiful. No, did it just re- Ah, uh, it didn't. It reset the color, I think. Rem did it. Yeah, I think it did. I don't know if changing age would, like, undo all that. Oh, well. I think he looks fine the way he is. Wait, hold on. I forgot. You can change your hair. Why did the Khajiit have, like, human heads of hair? They have fur already. Why would they have, like, hair follicles over top of their fur? Dreads. I don't know. Main's pretty good. I, I, for some reason, I feel like this can't be beat. Look at it. I think it'd, like... If you were like walking in a china shop, he would like all of the dishes would be being knocked down by the sides of his head. <laughs> He'd have to be so careful about where he was going. And he can't fold sheets. Nice. All right, here we go. Lamp, everybody. Ladies and gentlemen, it's Lamp. Wake up, kitty kitty. That's it. There's a rat in my cell, Khajiit. Wait, hold on a sec. There we go. A fat, tasty rat. Does the kitty want it? Is the kitty hungry? You'd better take whatever you can get in here. Is the Khajiit. kitty hungry? You they better don't take. Feed the new prisoners. Cuts himself Didn't off. Didn't you know that? First, they starve you. Then, <laughs> they beat you. Then, if you're Front-facing camera. This is like when they're... You've got one of those doorbell right. cameras. You're going to die. Someone was at your door at 4.13 hey, p.m. This is the picture you get sent to your you. phone. Morris, lock that door behind us. Yes, sir. They're dead, aren't they? We don't know that, sire. The messenger only said they were attacked. No, they're dead. I know it. My job right now is to get you Straw to pole. Straw pole for what? What's this prisoner doing here? Picking a race? This cell is that was hours ago. Get the net. The oh, choosing a class. Watch. I... Never mind. Get that gate open. Stand back, prisoner. We won't hesitate to kill you if you get in our way. You, oh, prisoner, not that. Stand aside. Over by the window. Stay out of the way and you won't get hurt. Prisoner, stand Walk through away my traps. Over by the window now. No sound Stay put, Damn. prisoner. Good. Let's go. We're not out of this yet. You. Oh. I've seen you. This is what shadows on Max, Let by the way. Let me see your face. You are the one from my dreams. Then the stars They're were more light. like nightmares. And this is the day. Gods give me strength. It's a degree of agency I'm not ready for. Assassins attacked my sons, and I am next. My blades are leading me out of the city along a secret escape route. By chance, the entrance to that escape route leads through your cell. Who are you? <laughs> Could you imagine you were in jail and, like, the president of the United States was in the jail and started, like, talking to you, and then halfway through the conversation, you were like, Sorry, who are you again? <laughs> Except it's like ten times that because he said emperor. Perhaps the gods. Yes, they don't have you photos of so him floating around. Meet. You have to go by paintings. As only. for what you have done, it does not matter. That is not what you will be remembered for. I am your emperor, Uriel Septim. <laughs> by the grace of the gods, I serve Tamriel as her ruler. You are a citizen of Tamriel. And you, too, shall serve her in your own way. He's got that little coy smile. He's such a cutie. That's my emperor. You will find your own path. Take care. There will be blood and death before the end. Please, Pacifist sir, run. Keep moving. <laughs> it is like a cat, the way he stared the emperor with 
<laughs> the second there was a noise somewhere else in the room. <laughs> Alright, Tan Jug. I don't like you and you don't like me, but... We gotta work together here. Stand aside, prisoner. Oh. Yeah? Skuma Addict is not a class. Skuma Addict is an attribute of a class. You could be a Skuma Addict fighter. Or a skooma addict mage, or a skooma addict stealth archer. You right, but you can't sire? just be a skooma addict. Captain Reno? She's dead. <clears throat> Sorry, sire, but we have to keep moving. Oh, can I get the... I think you can get like a katana or something. If you're lucky. Or a short sword. Don't know, but it's too you can build your own class around being a skooma addict. But it that hat's like the linchpin of the whole thing, though. It has to be a schematic. A mythic don. They don't make hoods this big for heads that look like this. Don't to be honest. Sir. We will get you out of here. They won't be the first to underestimate the blades. I'll take point. Let's move. One of you just died. You stay here, prisoner. For these guys that, that take like two hits to kill. All right, just the four of us will go. Oh. Oh, two, two rats. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, did I? Do you think that the the rope came with a hole in case it was used by a Khajiit, or do you think that my character just now slit a little hole to get his tail through the back of it? I'll probably have to save often. <clears throat> Rusty iron bow. Oh man. It's been so long since I've done oblivion lock picking. Get it back in the saddle. Oh. I feel like maybe it goes faster the higher the level of the lockpick is. Ooh, it's fast. Yeah, Jess literally can't let Oblivion be mentioned without talking about how much better at lockpicking she is than me. He didn't slit a hole, that means there's someone... Yeah, the hole cut there by default. I mean, it's not un inconceivable that somebody in the Mythic Dawn is a Khajiit. Not impressed. I'm legitimately great at it. I feel like it go I remember going a lot faster. Technically speaking, Thief was a runner-up, so Schematic Thief is the official result. Also, 116 viewers hype. Oh, wow. 116 viewers. Yeah, that, that, that I think that is a record. Welcome, everybody. <clears throat> thank you for the $5, Silvar. And thank you, Rukar, also for the $5. By the night, I'm tweaking. All right, Skuma Addict Thief it is. Can you actually get addicted to Skuma in Oblivion? I feel like addiction is something Bethesda only introduced in uh, Fallout. I don't remember it being in this game. All right, so like light armor, um, these swords, uh, Sneaking is a thing. I, it's been such a long time since I played Oblivion. I forget what all the skills are. Cross that bridge when we come to it. <laughs> the ragdolls. Oh, the ragdoll physics in this game are so great. In a, in a manner of speaking. 
Well deserved. Rack numbers with that. I feel like Oblivion is a great fit. Yeah, uh, you know what? Obli you're, you're right. Oblivion. Not you're right about it being well deserved. I meant you're right about uh, Oblivion being probably a good fit. It's a pretty comfy game. Lends itself to mucho shenanigans. It's just a, the type of game where you can just expect something to happen. And even when it doesn't, you're still chilling. It's like the fishing of RPGs. Even when nothing's going on, you're just kicking it still. Morrowind or, Dag or Daggerfall? Maybe. Could be. If people are interested in seeing that. I definitely would like to play Morrowind. Daggerfall was the very first stream I ever did. It was on Twitch, actually. Which, I think it was like, might even be less than a year ago, which is crazy to think about. I'll just grab all this stuff. So. Oh. Yeah, Oblivion, I think, is the right a cocktail of things to be entertaining stepping out of the imperial sewers for the first time definitely uh left one of the biggest impressions on me as sort of insincere as the uh like the the, the discourse about anything gaming related on the internet is so you can't admit that you like things that were popular but i i got to admit Oblivion and Fallout 3 both, uh, uh, the, the moment you step into the world, like, I was pretty blown away back when they came out. Well, Oblivion, I played a little bit after it came out. I didn't play it immediately. But still, still hadn't really played anything like it. Especially considering I was, like, a console gamer. I played it on 360. So, it's just, uh... Was just not ready for it. Right, hotkeys. This game lets you put like eight hotkeys for some reason, I think. And they're arranged like a D-pad because this game was like built with consoles in mind. I'm bad at mushroom picking. The, the lighting like to degree the i still think the lighting in some of the dungeons looks good like i don't know I, I i remember the first time i felt like i think it was while i was playing knights of the old republic i remember being like impressed by bump mapping and i still think that or like normal mapping i still think that it has like a, an appealing like quality to it it makes it makes the game look like, I don't know, it gives it sort of like a defined art style that's not just like straight realism. There's like a slight, not cartooniness to Oblivion, but there's almost like a little sort of clay model quality to everything. Like even the sword, like there's all these like little sort of minute details to it that make it look like it was just made by hand. I don't know, the whole game kind of has this tangibleness to it kind of hard to explain all right hold on I, I can game the system here I think are you kidding me didn't work at all I gotta get some skooma in my belly before the day is done Like, the way that the light hits the cave walls and, like, I, I, I don't know. It looks so, like, it just looks, like, textured, you know? It looks like you could, like, reach out and touch it and you can imagine what it would, like, feel like and everything. I feel like Skyrim didn't have that as much. Skyrim's lighting, especially in, like, dungeons, always struck me as much flatter than Oblivion. Oh. How's it? <laughs> Sorry. We live under a bowling alley.
What the hell was that? <laughs> What's going on? What are these noises? Thieves use shield. I'm not a thief yet. I haven't even picked a class. Boris hasn't even made an assumption about what my class is. It looks to me like you're an experienced gladiator. Wrong again, Boris. Do, uh, spells count as sneak attack hits? There's a knife, no shield, so you accuses you. You, the sheet of being a thief. Oh, yeah? Is that how it works? You just, like, whatever weapon you're holding? Is there even knives in this game? I, didn't, I think short swords is as small as the bladed weapons go, isn't it? Is there- Oh, there is daggers, yeah. I, I forgot that Oblivion had them. Crack shot. I was bobbing, I was weaving. You also can't um, unknock an arrow in this game, which is always a pet peeve of mine, but so before, before such a feature was considered to be mm, commonplace. <laughs> Trying to 100% this game is a mistake. I feel like this game, it's reasonable to like do the major quest lines. I would say that's probably a good place to cool your jets. That's what my dad always used to say to me when I was getting like too like rowdy or something. Cool your jets. But yeah, it's uh, there's a lot of uh, like uh, the dungeons in this game are pretty just bad like on their own. They're very very samey. Uh, there's not a lot of games that get around that like oh as far as open world games with like lots of dungeons go i feel like there's always even in like the best examples in the genre like breath of the wild or tears of the kingdom you still get a lot of that like sameness after a period of time and they do a better job than most i seem to remember quick saving super often uh is bad for the stability of this game so one person made the dungeon this, in, in this game? Is that actually true? If so, I mean, that's insane. That's uh, very impressive. They should have just told him to make like 25 or something instead of like the 90 or whatever is in Oblivion. No, he is not one of them. He can help us. He must ah, nothing, help us. nothing like coffee. As you wish, sire. They cannot understand why I trust you. They've not seen what I've seen. How can I explain? Listen, you know the Nine, how they guide our fates with an invisible hand. I feel like Lamp would probably say, I don't know, I don't think about it. I've served the Nine all my days, and I chart my course by the cycles of the heavens. The skies are marked with numberless sparks, each a fire, and every one a sign. I know these stars well, and I wonder which sign marked your birth. I think Oblivion probably gets the most shit for samey dungeons because um, the there's so many dungeons in the game, um, and like not, I feel like not a lot of them are like in Morrowind and Skyrim. I, I remember a lot of the the dungeons were related to quests, which kind of adds like a some through line of something interesting to them um oblivion i feel like the vast majority of them are just sort of like 
not really there's not really a whole lot of like there's not really a thing you know there's not really a gimmick to any of them but i do agree that it's like an issue including in morrowind mind you including in everybody's precious prodigal son morrowind the dungeons uh, are often often some of the lamest dungeons actually now you want a dungeon you play daggerfall if you don't have the mark and recall spell, you'll just get lost in a dungeon and die of old age. Let's see. So, Moon Shadow. I mean, it's kind of cool, but I feel like the ones that raise attributes are always, like, the good, the good ones. 20 points to speed is good. <clears throat> um, Tower Key... tower key I, I i'm always like reticent to pick something that i can do on my own even though i probably won't be very good at it like unlocking locks the thief would probably be a good one for the thief agility speed and locks that's 30 points in all that's better than the steed yeah i would say let's do the thief that one makes the most sense i think 10 points to speed as opposed to 20 is not a huge sacrifice for agility and luck <clears throat> the signs I read show the end of my path. My death, a necessary end, will come when it will come. Luck is the hardest. What is does luck influence? Um, just like what you find in containers and stuff. Your stars are not mine. Today, the thief shall guide your steps on the road to destiny. I feel like some of his lines were recorded at a different booth. He doesn't sound like he's talking to me in this room. He sounds like he's like ASMRing into my ear hole. No trophies of my triumphs precede me, but I this have This dungeon is well, soundproof. The egg cartons shall rest easy. Adorn the Men walls. are but flesh and blood. They know their doom, but not the hour. In this, I am blessed to see the hour of my death. To face my apportioned fate then fall. Ooh. My dreams grant me no opinions of success. Their compass ventures not beyond the doors of death. But in your face, I behold the Oh, there's a doddering old man the is here. Somebody come get your grandpa. Bright glory may banish the coming darkness. With such hope, and with the promise of your aid, my heart must be satisfied. I go to my grave. A tongue shriller than all the music calls me. You shall follow me yet for a while. Then we must part. All right, so here's what I think is going to happen once he gets to his death zone. I think a mythic dawn assassin is going to jump out of the walls. I think they're going to swing on him one time and miss. And he's going to be staring at me smiling. And then they're going to swing on him. You may as well make yourself useful here. again, and then Carry it's going to hit that time. But the first time, it's going to miss. <clears throat> Fun lore fact: the stars in the Elder Scrolls universe aren't actually stars; they're holes in space-time that leak magic into the world of Nern. Oh, interesting! I actually didn't know that. Thank you, uh, Crap Nuggets, for the donation. Buying, uh, I would. Cat Poop Nachos definitely still holds Not the record for foulest name, by the way. You can't win that fight. But that is an interesting fact. I did not know. I knew that Talos achieved Chim literally to, like, make Cyrodiil not a jungle anymore so they could justify having this game be, like, generic fantasy. <laughs> Damn. I love the way they all... They all hit such fabulous poses upon death. <clears throat> I'm sneaking, I'm sneaking. Prisoner! 
So? What do you want me to do about it? I'm here for a good time, not a long time. Oh, hold up. I don't <laughs> like this. Let me take a look. Don't worry, fellas. I got this. Looks clear. Come on. We're almost through to the sewers. Hey, look at that. Some of this classic <laughs> environmental storytelling I've always told that Bethesda is A1 at. They came in the through the crate. Let's go. There's a skeleton on a motorcycle in the sewers. What was my favorite Kingsfield uh, game of the bunch? I think Kingsfield 3 is my favorite out of all of them. I think it goes 3, 4, 2, then 1 for me personally. 3 and 4 I'm are very close, but I just love the PS1-ness of 3. Oh, here we go. Uh, help, help. I'm under the tide. I told you to stay with I told you to stay with the Emperor. Excuse me, I was getting my head bashed in by some this guy in a mace. Fine. I can go no further. You alone must stand against the Prince of Destruction and his mortal servants. He must not have the Amulet of Kings. Take the amulet. Big give it smart. to there Joffrey. He is, everybody. He alone happy. knows it's all where better. to find my last son. Find him and close shut the jaws of oblivion. All right, here we go. Come on, miss once. Yes. Oh, buddy, hopped up. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, that's the little jump into the air. Yee -hee, after he gets stabbed. We <laughs> failed. He barely even checked the body. The blades are sworn to protect the emperor. Now he and all his heirs are dead. The amulet. Where's the amulet <laughs> of kings? It wasn't on the emperor's body. Strange. He saw something in you. Trusted you. They say it's the dragon blood that flows through the veins of every septum. They see more than lesser men. Lesser the men. Of kings is a sacred symbol. Can't be talking about me right now. Most people think of the red dragon crown, but that's just jewelry. The amulet has power. Only a true heir of the blood can wear it. They say. He must have given it to you for a reason. Did he say why? You know. Joffrey, why even give me the option? He said at this that. Point? Why? Nothing I ever heard about. But Joffrey would be the one to know. He's the Grand Master of my order. Although you may not think so to meet him, he lives quietly as a monk at Wainan Priory, near the city of Coral. First, you need to get out of here. Through that <clears throat> door must be the entrance to the sewers, past the locked gate. That's where we were heading. It's a secret way out of the Imperial City, or it was supposed to be secret. Here. Um, apparently, I have to be a skooma addict, too tired for this. That's the. That's the silliness of it. There was a vote on which class I should play as, and Skuma Addict was number one, even though I there are rats I, and I didn't have anything there. to say but about from the what I've seen of you, I'm I didn't present Skuma Addict as an scout. option. Am I right? He guessed Scout. I feel like that's a respectable guess. It's not completely off base. I'm making a custom class out of it still, though. Okay, um, <clears throat> let's see here. Agility and speed are both. I feel like agility and speed makes sense, right? Okay, security for sure. As a thief, um, probably light armor would be good. 
uh, blade maybe athletics probably would make sense mercantile would probably be like thief like but i just feel like it's a one of those skills that's so hard to level up you're kind of at a disadvantage Marksman is thiefy. Um, sneak, obviously. It's four of seven. It's custom class ability. Yeah, skooma thief. Yeah, that's probably good. Can you brew your own skooma in this game, actually? Acrobatics, yeah. Acrobatics has got good humor value as well. Since you can't walk downstairs without, like, hovering in the air for, like, 15 seconds or careening to the earth athletics maybe blade probably is wise all right so we got one more now <clears throat> um should i do alchemy athletics Yeah, I'd say alchemy or athletics. Speechcraft, again, is one of those skills where it's just... It takes so long to level up. I think I'll go for athletics, probably. Yeah. Yeah, that's basically thiefy. Oh. Oh. Well, how are we going to combine Thief and Skooma? Scooth? Skoomatic won't fit. Oh, let's see. Skoomer. Skoomatic. Skoomer. 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 All right, fair enough. Are you sure you want to be a skoomer? Really? Uh, I would never have guessed. Really? Still, <laughs> I don't think you'll have any trouble with rats and goblins. Boris pretending he knows what a skoomer is. No, yeah, no, that was gonna say that for sure. Like after scout, I would admit that's what my guess would have been as well. You must get the amulet to Joffrey. Take no chances, but proceed to Wayne and Priory immediately. Got it? Got it. Find Skuma, then head straight to Wayne on Priory. No, please explain more. Take it easy. You'll be fine. I know this is a lot to take in all at once. No one's more surprised than me that I'm sending an escaped prisoner off with the amulet of kings. But the Emperor trusted you for a reason, and I trust the Emperor. The Amulet of Kings must get to Joffrey at Wayne and Priory. He'll know what to do with it. Joffrey should know how to find the heir the Emperor spoke of. The Amulet must reach Emperor Uriel's heir so a new Emperor can be crowned. I'll stay here to guard the Emperor's body and make sure no one follows you. You'd better what? get moving. May Talos guide you. Okay, what is going on? This is like... This is the problem with having cats. Everybody's throwing up this morning. Horrible creatures. Let's go out into the big, beautiful world. Mayroon's Razor. What the hell? Is that a DLC quest? I don't remember that. I got so many player homes, it's just getting silly at this point. Oh, my long lost uncles and aunts are dying and leaving me a deed. <laughs> okay, I get it. You know.
That awkward DLC integration is my favorite. Just leave the sewers and it's like... You've got 15 castles waiting for you, prisoner. Really now? I gotta set my favorites. Which I actually don't remember how to... Oh, there we go. Yeehaw. <laughs> the, the final blow, he just throws them to the ground. <laughs> I have to stare at this every time I open my menu. I hope you're all happy. With my fists, what kind of a thief would I be? Cloak and dagger. Just getting into royal rumbles with goblins in the sewers. <clears throat> have I ever played Enderal? No, I've never played it. Is that the, like, super comprehensive Oblivion, like, total conversion mod? I'm gonna spank this rat. He loves it. See? <clears throat> Let us go out into the world. Repairing the orrery. I don't remember it, most of these quests. I remember like the one where you get the castle and the mage's tower. I don't remember dwarven artifacts and Maroon's razor and all that. It's funny just how much this game has like, I mean like, I think it's a sign that I'm just getting old. It's weird to be, it's weird to, to, creep into your 30s, I'll tell you that much. Don't feel like that long ago when this would look was breathtaking. Feels like uh, like a couple years ago, but man. No, nope, it's been it's been more than that. It's been like 15 years probably. Crazy. Now, the first thing I tend to do in these playthroughs is go into this ruins. In this ruins. Because there's Welkland stones in here, which sell for a lot. <laughs> oh. Just fire it already. <laughs> oh, here we go. <laughs> yes, I'm gonna have some fun with the marksman. I, I rarely use uh, bows in Oblivion. This game came out when George W. was president, no doubt, eh? Yeah, that's a minute ago. That wasn't yesterday. Frankly, I remember still Fable the Lost Chapters running at a blistering like 23 frames per second on my computer. Huh? Oh no! Time to thief around! Todd Howard single-handedly ended the war on terror. 
I dare not explain to you how. Like, the lighting in certain parts of these dungeons, like, honestly, the texture sizes aren't great, but, like, they're... I feel like they use that, like, normal mapping to sort of simulate more detail. It, it, I feel like it still, like, has an appealing quality to it. <laughs> Ooh. Especially in these Aelia ruins. Colon. Yeah, I'm trying to pull one over on old. Mm, uh, I don't even remember his name. Lamp. I was about to call him Scoomer. I'm getting all mixed up here. Pull one over on old Lamp, eh? What's in here, she? I got zero tolerance for two things. Wise guys and withdrawal. They move so erratically. I have a damn patrol route, I tell you. Sneak only increases if you're actually near enemies, right? Hee hee hee. Show me what you've got. Ah. Show me what you've got. Ah. <laughs> what was that? I move like a pregnant cow. <laughs> I don't think I've heard him lob that insult at me before. <laughs> at last, I'm at peace. I died as I lived. Firing arrows into the abyss. Where am I at? I I basically just got out of the sewers. I went to the first set of alien ruins uh, that I had available. Get some sweet Welkland stones. This is the, the kinetic combat we've been waiting for. direction oh mama I'll look at the mother load here I'm rich well, I pick up these individual gold pieces and hope I don't actually accidentally take that ink well. Beautiful. A cheese for later. Can I take a snooze? Oh, well, very nice. <clears throat> this is a relaxing situation for a lamp. Nice and easy. Where are you? I'm here. Like <laughs> Lamp's first order of business should be to go get some skin. Well, of course. Money's got to come from somewhere, though. <laughs> uh, it's still satisfying, even though it's, like, ridiculous. These arrows have some real force behind them. Hey, cheers, friendly lich. Glad to hear it. Come on, you could get away from me, huh? 
I love the bow. I am a stealth archer. Why have I never done this in Oblivion? Only Skyrim. I'll be taking that. Only two merchants with respawning skooma inventory? Oh man, you've done your due diligence, Silvar. Well, don't leave me in suspense, unless you want me to go around town looking for skooma dealers, which could have its own appeal, I guess. Well, thank you for saying so, Blue. It seems that Legend of Dragoon... I don't know if it's my most viewed video, but it's certainly up there. I was very... I'm always surprised by what is my most viewed videos. That video in 3DO. I mean, you never know. I was surprised by Kingsfield, frankly. I've never had performance this good out of the gate. So, thank you. Thank you to everybody who watched and liked it and commented and shared and everything. Stuff like that really goes a long way in uh, deciphering YouTube's wacky algorithms. Uh, yeah, I'm really happy with how that video is doing. Totally, totally a left field. Almost twice as many views in the first three days as uh, my next highest video, which is Golden Sun. Which, yeah, really didn't expect that. Oops. There's more to this place, I think, in there. Which can't be it. People are interested in things they've vaguely heard about, but don't really know that much about. You know, I think that that actually is right on the money, uh, Eric. That's, I think that, um, yeah, I was talking to, uh, uh, I finished a video game, a fellow purveyor of long video game videos, who makes incredible stuff, by the way. And he was saying that he, he suspected uh, that the Kingsfield video would do really well, and I wasn't really sure, but he was like, it's one of those things where, like, for the average person, Kingsfield is, like, kind of, they've heard about it because it's related to From Software, which is very, very, very popular, but for the most part, the Kingsfield games are kind of, they're interesting but unapproachable for most people, which I, you know, strikes a chord with me in retrospect because that's kind of how I also feel about Kingsfield, even having played them all. So yeah, there's like, they're not the type of game that you just like tuck into casually for for the for most people. So I think to ha to be able to like, kind of get a, a approximate experience of them, um, is is uh, something that helped that video. <clears throat> Glad you got so much out of Symphonia. Yeah, I, I, I was surprised by, um, I don't remember the game having so many, like, twists and turns. I don't remember, I, I did not remember it being that, like, thematically dense. It's, and it's, yeah, just the characters in that game are so good. I think that's, well, I also had COVID while I was writing the Dawn of the New World video, so that kind of affected my outlook on things a little bit. But I felt like this thing that, like, actually, like, legitimately, sort of non-hyperbolically, angry reviewerly pissed me off the most about the sequel is that they took... They were given this tremendous gift in having, like, one of the best casts for a JRPG. Just unfettered fonts of optimism and people with all kinds of 
interesting backstories and tons of side quests to have figured it out. And they just, like, didn't do anything with it. Which I'm like, it's hard to make characters that, like, good. And you, you, you sabotage that. Hey, thanks for the five bucks, Yufio. New sub, excellent retrospective. Now I'm listening to OK Computer on vinyl. Need more Radiohead video games, TVH. Well done, sir. Take my money. Well, cheers to that. I thank you very much. Yeah, there's not a whole lot of Radiohead video games out there now that you mention it. Not a whole lot, if any. I don't know, maybe a song off of, like, Pablo Honey was featured in a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater game or something. Yeah, Friendly Lich. I, ha I remember that, too. Distinctly remember playing it on my GameCube and getting to that point with Yggdrasil and being like, oh, wow, this is a crazy finale. And then it's like, yeah, this is like 30% uh, of the way through the game, actually. It's such a good feeling when you're a kid. I, the exact same thing happened with me in Pokemon Gold. I was floored I when I, of you? like, beat that game and found out you can go to Kanto at the end. Hey, stranger. Can you spare a few coins? I've just been shaken down by that bastard watchman, and he took my last septim. Bastard watchman? Blessings of Akatosh upon you. The bastard took every coin I had with me. I don't know his name, but I know his face. Ruslan and I were shopping at Jensen's when he accused us of stealing. We turned out our pockets to prove we were innocent, but he didn't care. And we had Thank to you. pay the Thank fine. Thank you, Daff Life, for the he five bucks. March us off to jail. Thanks for the uh, thanks for the Xeno Gears video. It made me feel all nostalgic, and I remember as a kid being stuck multiple times because I didn't read and would just mash. I feel like most people who uh, who play those console RPGs in their adult life can like relate to that being a thing in their childhood. Just jamming through this like extreme, like this verbose, like esoteric story, and then getting completely lost because you don't know where you're supposed to go. Now he's shaken down most of the shopkeepers in the market district. They're all too afraid <laughs> or of him because to do you anything. can't. Jen Sin wouldn't the even talk about it. Anima dungeon Someone puzzle where you gotta take like five steps him. left and seven steps forward or whatever it was. <laughs> that I was like ready to scream at my computer by the end of that. Damn watchman. I bet they're all crooked. Me children will thank you for your help. Thank you, kind sir. Alright, that one's not so bad. Sometimes the beggar's voice has yes, changed completely after you give him a coin. Alright, so... What the... Did she just... Go ahead, I'm listening. Did her upper body just rotate like 180 degrees or... You have my ear, citizen. Alright, where's the... Where's the skooma at? Let's get down to brass tacks here. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm prepared. Shady Sam is right outside the walls of the Imperial City. Right outside the walls? Like, outs, like, outside, outside? Like, if I go around the perimeter? I understand. He's good with light armor. Oh, like in the waterfront district or something? I forget how it's all arranged. I don't know, that's pretty far away. Outside, outside. Alright, well, I'll do some menacing circles around the city until I find him. Train some sweet acrobatics while I'm at it. Psst. 
Hey, you. What the? Yeah, you. Hey. Come here. You need something special? Check out my wares. You won't find this stuff at your local general store, that's for damn sure. It's Shady Sam. Let's do business. He only has one? Oh. Man, that stuff ain't cheap. You've made a But needs must. An excellent bargain. Sell my weak potions of sorceries. I don't know. What if I need to cast heal minor wounds eight hundred times? An excellent deal. What is with the window change? Tell your. Come see me anytime, friend. I'm here. Come day see me. You're gonna be forced to maintain to do some questionable things. Yeah, well, that's why my character is a, a thief. Oh yeah, just see, wait, we're gonna be breaking into houses come sundown. Oh yes, hey, what's up Fenrir? Well, I'm gonna go hole myself away here for a few short hours. Or just wait outside the walls till 1.45 in the morning. The lamp has loose morals. <laughs> well said. I've suddenly learned via intuition that there's a door in Nibbin Bay. Alright, let's head over to a... Uh, I don't know, should I break into a... Oh, yeah, these lockpicks, these are going to be tough. These are going to be tough. What's my lockpicking at? 35. It's not very high. Let's go to Shivering Isles. Yeah, what a... What a suggestion. Just arrived here. Alright, this looks fine. Holy mackerel, over 150 viewers, wowza. Now we're cooking with gas. Oh! There we go. I'm not terrible at it. All right. Sneaky, sneaky, no mistakey. Only 69 likes Steam Strength true. Maybe it's entirely possible that like 81 people despise the stream. There's not much I can do about that. Another cheeky quick save. It's actually kind of tense. What? How dare you assume that I'm a thief? <laughs> Alright, well. I guess I'll just leave. I'm in trouble, aren't I? Stop! You violated the law. Pay the court a fine. 
can't believe this is happening to me. That's too bad. Okay. <laughs> there it goes. Oh, my stolen goods. Oh, that's all right. The night is still young and there's still plenty of time to <laughs> go rob other people. Two bucks for the scream of fun. Thank you, Silvar. Every little bit helps. Every little bit helps when Skuma is at these crazy prices. Oh, man. You think he took it? No, he, it's still mine. Even though it's illegal, the game doesn't, like, register it as a stolen good. So as far as the guards are concerned, that's all they really care about. No, no, no. Not the arena. The stores are probably locked up tight. Would be my guess. Legally bought my illegal scum, exactly. These ultra wide loading screens. I don't know about those. Stop! You violated the law, smooch Jessica, or pay the chat up fine for five dollars. What you want to air kiss you? I have to. I have to physically stand up. I got wired headphones on. Jess didn't want to be in the screen. I made sure that she wasn't. All right, thank you for the five dollars. Thank you for uh, forcing me at gunpoint to kiss my girlfriend. First prize. How the, the hell are they doing up at 3.42 in the morning? They're committing crimes. I'm mad, actually. I should report them to the guards. I don't know about you guys, but I need a cigarette. <laughs> was that smooch as good for you as it was for me? I'm not bad at lockpicking. Just admit it. Admit that I'm not bad at lockpicking. All right, hold on, wait until I, wait, don't say it yet. Okay, now admit it. You're fine at lockpicking. That's all you can muster. This is better than Skyrim's lockpicking mechanic to me. Mostly because just like due to pure fatigue. I'm so tired of seeing that like bobby pin lockpicking system in every game. Basements in this game suck. There's never anything good in them. I'm not taking sack cloth pants. Selling them for zero gold. Maybe there's some of this cheap, cheap, cheap wine. All cheap wine. Boy, did I ever pick the right house to rob. Fallout 3 was bobby pin. Same as Skyrim. In fact, Fallout 3 was the game, the first game to do that, I think. Okay. It's heavy and it's not worth very much, but at this point, I basically just need to be stealing anything. No more no more pickpocketing sleeping people. I wasn't gonna be waiting.
I'm rich beyond my wildest dreams. I got four gold and like three bottles of wine that are worth eight each, which means I can sell them for like two. Oh well. If nothing else, I'll get like uh, welcomed into the Thieves Guild. Knock all the stuff off their tables. Oh, that I can do. <laughs> That's called a little light mischief. Like a true cat. Yeah, tr <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Hey, it's that house that I tried robbing before. <laughs> Perhaps, uh, things will go my way this time. <laughs> Get me arrested, will you? <laughs> Fine mess you put me in. Oh. Oh, I, I can do it. Boom! First try. I do not consider myself particularly good at this lockpicking, but, uh... Eh. It's beginner's luck, let's say. See, the thing about robbing the same house in the, in the same night is, it, that's what we would call hiding in plain sight. See, when you do something so stupid that no one would believe that you're dumb enough to do it, they don't really pay attention. They don't even think that you'd have the balls. But I'm here to tell you, it's not about balls. It's about brains, alright? And Lamp's got neither. <clears throat> um, so I got a whole bunch of bottles of wine now got to find a fence which means i think i got a i actually need an invite to the thieves guild it's totally legit guy it's, nobody needs to worry about this man you can really zoom out far in the third person mode in this game you can play like an isometric game Baldur's Gate 3. Eat your heart out. Speak. Um. I don't know. Should I do quests now? Should I go talk to Joffrey? Or should I continue stealing things? How do you get invited to the Thieves Guild? Do you have to, like, sleep at an inn or something first? You gotta. Oh, you gotta talk to. Oh, I thought you got an invite after you stole enough stuff. Sell the amulet. Of, I pawned the amulet of kings for thirty-five gold pieces because I needed scoop. Hi there. Good morning. Hello, hello, ladies. There's enough lamp to go around for everyone. There's a house in the temple district with fifteen skooma. That definitely would solve my problems. The arena. <laughs> if I if I do the arena now, I think I'm gonna get like ten gold pieces, won't I? Who will help an old beggar? I'm saving up enough for some medicine. Thank you. Wait. I'm safe. The Grey Fox. He's a fairy tale. Her voice changed. The Imperial completely. Watch pretends there is a thief king named the Grey Fox. Of course, it's all just made up to give. Um, how long did it take me to put together that video? I started playing through the games mm, maybe a couple months ago, and um, it, to edit it, I think editing took me. Close to three weeks. It's working roughly eight hours a day. Um, usually six days a week, I would say. 
So it was a pretty, ed the editing part was pretty comprehensive. It's probably like the most editing uh, I've done on a video. What was the, what the heck was that? Gizmo? Starts mumbling at nothing, just sitting in a cardboard box. Um, I guess I gotta wait till morning now. I doubt that I'm just gonna, like, be able to walk into a skooma den and just take all their stuff. Oh, thank you, Smiles. I appreciate that. I really enjoyed the work. It's not like eight hours of torture. It's I I I have, I oh well, I, maybe it's not correct to say it's like fun to edit, but it is uh, satisfying. Like it's always it's always gratifying work. Putting your nose to the grindstone and like having like ten more minutes of video just like finished and able to be watched. Preville has a skooma den too. Boots of Spring Heel Jack. Oh, that's part of the Thieves Guild quest, which I'll definitely do when I get invited. Uh, I used Adobe Premiere. I used um, Da Vinci Resolve for a while, but <laughs> it didn't agree with my graphics card a lot, which is kind of funny to say while the loading screens are like flashing. Um, so yeah, I'm just I use Premiere. It's more or less treated me well. Um, I guess I'll I'll go to Breville. I don't know. There's skooma there too. I don't know where the skooma is here, and I don't know how to get it. And like, I guess I could just wait till night. And then try every single house in the temple district. I pity so, got nothing to eat. So just keep giving coins I'm to beggars and eventually... And yes, eventually okay. they'll invite me. You. It's uh, not a lot of discretion on the Thieves Guild part. Oh, befriend? Oh. Oh, the befriending. Hold on, I'll come at her from above. One more coin and I can get a pair Pathetic of shoes. worm. Bow to your sensei. Go ahead. All right. Oh, she loves admire. Not a big fan of joking around, though. Goodness, what can I say? Hmm. I doubt. That's enough. You should be ashamed. All right, that one didn't work out. You should be ashamed. Hmm. That's enough. No, I doubt it. I can do this. No, no, you do me too much honor. I, I won't fight you. Oh, we're cooking. Oh, disposition maxed. Well, there you go. I think... What All about right. a little bribe? For me? What a thoughtful gift. Oh, here we go. I think I trust you enough to tell you this secret. To learn more about the Grey Fox, go to the Garden of Dereloth at midnight. Look in the waterfront district of the Imperial City. I can say no more. Well, what else is there to say? You basically just gave me step-by-step -step instructions. Lessons of Mistara upon you. How do you take notes on what you want to cover during your playtime? Like for the videos I make? Um, Anytime now. I don't know. I, keep, I always keep a Word document on hand. I take extensive notes. Every time I notice anything that I think is would be relevant to the video... I make note of it, and um, if something happens where I know I'll specifically want to use it as either a joke or an example in a video, then I'll just mark down the exact piece of footage that it is, so that I can just use, like quickly reference it while editing. But yeah, I just take like a ton of notes and 
about 30% of them I never end up using because I think that they're either redundant or not, it's not worth spending time talking about something. But that usually, usually does, uh, does the trick. Well, I, 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 my first draft of a script, I just write using just my own memory. And then my second draft, I'll incorporate, uh, the notes that I have taken during the game into it. So I can kind of fill in the missing pieces and see what it is that I forgot and kind of still working out a format, but that's, that's, that's what I've been iterating on so far. Making notes helps formulate ideas too. Yeah, and that's, that's true too. Sometimes when you're in the middle of editing or writing a video, you underrate the importance of certain things that like happened while you were playing. So it's good to have those so you can like bring back the memory of like, you know what? Yeah, that is like a big enough deal that I actually want to talk about that. Uh, what is it? Midnight? Yeah. I'll, I'll wait here. I feel like if I'm going to be a skooma addict, there needs to be like a skooma rule. Like, I have to, like, take skooma every so often. Or some kind of self-imposed challenge. Oh. What the... Hello? What in the... What is this about? Why? Why did you come to me? You knucklehead. <laughs> this is... Conjurers in the waterfront district. <laughs> what was the point of that? Was that all a, a hallucination? It was all in my head? I would wait. Up here. No more conjurer shenanigans. <laughs> The anti drugs well yeah dare found me hold on i'm gonna really impress uh this guy do i know you <laughs> you say a beggar told you to seek me out good enough for me then the beggars are the That's eyes it, and eh? ears of the gray fox he is the king of thieves in cyrodiil you could think of him as our guilt master although he would deny that title you don't look very trustworthy. I have no idea what you're talking about. Oh. You don't look very... Make it quick. I gotta get a good look at his... <laughs> his face. Don't be silly. Oh, he hates that. Oh, that's great. That's really... You're full of it. I won't fight you. You're full of it. You're pathetic. That's great. How's it go again? I won't. That's a bit excessive, don't you? Was that supposed to be a compliment? You win this. I'll... You're pathetic. Don't make me laugh. Where'd you get that? that... You win. I'm not buying that one. Where'd you get that? That's good. <laughs> blah, blah, blah. That... You've got a point. You're pathetic. Where'd you get that? That's good. You've got... That's a bit excessive. You're good. All right, let's try that. Everyone is here. All let's right. Let's begin. Each of you is seeking membership in the Thieves' Guild. The Thieves' oh. Guild is not a myth. We are followers of the Grey Fox and I... Her feet are tiny. Merely by finding me, you have passed the first step. <laughs> Look at those petite feet. No wonder she's a thief. have three potential recruits at the same time. Rather than the normal test of skill, I'm going to make this... I like that everybody had to wait while I told him jokes, That's tried to coerce him. <laughs> I, I However, bragged to him. And the newcomer, let me state them clearly. Whoever brings me the diary of Amantius Electus without killing him will be invited into the guild. Ha! I'll have it before sunrise! Ha! Somewhere in the Imperial City. Imagine if a thing confirmed. How does that confirm itself, Silvar? 
I can sell you lock picks. That doesn't even hint at it. That doesn't even One raise the slightest bit of suspicion. Not kill each other during this unless time. this is just some kind of crazy projection. We're not murderers. Which is entirely possible. Something you gotta tell us? Why is the... Oh, I gotta like just go around to the other side here, I guess. Can you... The beggars might... Okay. Well, there's usually a beggar in the market district. Hmm. Usually. All right. Bad luck. Usually, uh... What's her name? The big... Oh, the... Beggar was right there. Well. Well, good news. Like, that's what the map marker is pointing towards? Beautiful, isn't she? Why are you dying? I then did I'm not really engage this person in conversation. So believe me when I tell you we don't like it when people snoop. <laughs> what the hell? Listen, lady. <laughs> Step aside. I'm going. Wake up, puny. I'm saving up enough. Oh, you are most generous. <laughs> he lives in the temple district on the far east side. <laughs> uh, he's a, an early riser. Uh, usually. A Something on your mind, fur liquor? Hey. You stay away. <laughs> Go away. What is it, citizen? Help, she's trying to steal from Madame Atius Electius. No, not in the chair. All right, out. Without a hitch. Yes, you might do. <laughs> I've ascended beyond him. Congratulations! You have returned with the diary. You have earned the right to join the Thieves' Guild. You now owe your loyalty to our guildmaster, the Grey Fox. The Grey Fox. He has three rules you must follow. First, never steal from another member of the guild. Member of the guild. Second, <laughs> never kill anyone on the job. This is not the Dark Brotherhood. Animals and monsters can be slain if necessary. Third, don't steal from the poor. The peasants and beggars are under the personal protection of the Grey Fox, particularly here on the waterfront. <laughs> hey, welcome, Tristan. You need more experience before I can... When you've contributed enough to the guild coffers by... Oh, Ongar. Jobs? We're thieves, not masons or scribes. Look, you're on your own as a thief. Go find a likely-looking house. Case the joint to see when the owner is gone. When he leaves, you break in and steal some stuff. You don't need special permission or orders to do that. However... You will find that you can only sell stolen property to one of our guild fences. Most other merchants won't take hot merchandise. Well, sometimes the guild gets a special commission. You know, guaranteed pay to acquire certain items for special clients. You should check in with your doyen every once in a while to see if there are any commission jobs. Are available. you my doing? best source of information. However, be prepared to spend a little coin. 
shadow hide you. Ah, I knew it. Where was that? Oh, he only sold lockpicks during that one mission, I guess. 50 gold. Oh, well, I should have that by now. Hi. What is it? My children are starving. Please help. There's so much going on right now. Have mercy. Just one coin. I'm saving up enough for some medicine. <laughs> Listen, buddy, pick a character and play it. Not with this split thing. Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> Blessings of Akatosh upon ye. Love this third person camera. What is it now? I see you are with the Gray Fox. <laughs> Do you need a fence? You got some hot property. Oh, I got some hot property. All right. Get rid of all this heavy. I think that's more heavy garbage. I think I can move this item. I think I can. That seems a fair price. I think I can move. That's more than I'd. You don't need to comment pay. on it every time, all right? That's a... I think I can. I think an excellent. I think I can move this item for you at that price. You got a great deal there. I think I can. I think I can. You got it. I think I can. Uh, you got a good. I'm glad that's done. I need a nap. <laughs> I need a nap. It's <laughs> a good delivery. <laughs> glad that's done. I need a nap. The mid yawn talk. All right, I, that's got to be uh, 50 gold worth of stolen stuff that I sold there. Oh, Almond, won't you trust me? Perhaps I must steal more. Perhaps Regner's house is rife with goods. Oh, hello. Anyone looking for work should consider the Fighters Guild. I hear they're Could you imagine looking for recruits. this is like the conversations is you're having with your so? spouse? They say that the priests and priestesses of the chapel of Debella have all been murdered. Apparently the Amazon warehouse is hiring. Good work no if you're not afraid of a little bit of a razzle dazzle. Beautifully said. Apparently. Getting into construction work is money that you can spend on items. I heard the very same thing just the other day. That, the, that book was worth 75 gold, actually. That's gotta be. I mean, we gotta be getting close on guard. I'm really tired. You got some hot property. <laughs> I'm really tired. You got some hot property. A good price. That's more. I'm glad that's done. I need a nap. Beautiful. Shadow Love Ongar the world weary. There we go. You. That this is a regular conversation between happily married people. Imagine how you having to come home every day and shoot the breeze with your significant other. Imagine just having to like make uh, like casual conversation and like in a weird formal way too. Like you're talking to somebody while working retail. You have to like walk up to them. You both have your arms crossed, body language fully like in this I don't want to be here type of way. And then you just start like talking about 
something you saw Everybody in... needs a copy of the Black Horse Courier. Indeed. Those pants are really quite something. I believe I could use them. Shoot Febreze. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm talking about. Now that's fun. Oh, I guess I'll wait for Armand. <laughs> Small talk, GF. Every man deep down just wants a small talk GF. Did Armand die? Oh. Dominance assertion. Dominance assertion. I might have something for you, but we can't talk about it here. What? Meet me at the usual place and at the usual time. Gotcha. Yeah, we can't talk about it here, but I will meet you at the usual place to talk about it. Shadow hide. I might have something. For Shadow hide you. All right. Now that we're in the usual ah, place at the usual time, pocket. we could finally get down to business. The gray fox has asked me to take care of a problem. And I'm putting you on it. Hieronymus Lex actually collected taxes from everyone living here on the waterfront. Your job is to recover those taxes. Are you up for it? Good. Find out where he's keeping the taxes and bring them to me. I'll also need the tax records of what each citizen paid I so we can return I can't remember the it. name of the voice actor who does uh, Redguard Males in this game. I know he did the main character in the game, Redguard. To me, he's one of, like, the best... I, actually, all the voice actors in, the, in this game, like, all memes aside, are actually pretty good. I would say aside from... I think the Nord and Breton female voice sounds just kind of like they're trying to get through line reads most of the time. But most of the voice actors are pretty great. They put a lot of, like, chutzpah into the delivery, which I respect. Kingsfield 3 is the greatest be You shall be called the Golden King! I'm not even kidding when I say, the when I first heard that, when I beat the game, and that, that narrator started talking like that, my jaw, like, unlatched from the rest of my face. I've never had such a strong reaction while playing something before. It was so out of the left field. Invisible. To be in here. Invisible. <laughs> it's most being laughed. Damn. Yeah, the Kingsfield 4 of VA is pretty good too. You must return the idol. The, the super, like, over-the-top voices. So the most subdued one was probably, actually, uh... Kingsfield 2. Oh! Oh, Gauntlet, yeah, true. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. Nothing. 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 Oof.
green jester has gained a level. Have you recovered those taxes? <laughs> yes, father. Ah, the gray fox will be very pleased. We will make sure this gets back to the people. Can you believe that fool even bothered to collect this paltry sum? You can keep it. I merely wanted the watch to know they went too far. I think it's time to promote you to footpad. Congratulations on your new guild rank. That's what I'm talking about. I do have need of a skilled operative. The fences report to me how much loot you have turned over. Shadow hide you. <laughs> Shadow hide you. Yeah, I'm, uh, yeah. We're Lamp, not Pubert the second. Pubert was, a. Uh, Pubert was a Daggerfall stock. Um, I'm going to go refill my coffee. So, I guess I'll have to steal more stuff when I come back. So, uh, hold fast and true, everybody. I will return. Oh, oh, as I return, the best song in the game starts playing. Oh, that's luck. Well, I'll tell you, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing I can do. 
kill slaughterfish. You get a really good item if you do this quest. And it don't matter what level you do it at, unlike many of the quests in this game. <clears throat> because Oblivion, unlike many games, lets you swing your sword erratically underwater. Hey, wow, thank you, Sean. I am, uh, I am humbled by the comparison. And I do hereby appreciate that. Those are two... Titans. Of the video game review space. How are you? Oh wait, this is the guy. You know, stranger... There comes a time in every man's life when he has to admit that he's lost the fight. Well, I've fought and I've lost. Who did I lose to? Who is my great enemy? Oh, don't laugh. It's a bunch of damn fish. Oh. No. Oh. Poor Go guy. on and la Wait. Help? Oh, well then. I'm a fisherman. Or at least I was. Until one of those slaughterfish damn near took my leg off. I was collecting their scales, see? I had a contract with this young alchemist. You wouldn't believe what he was paying for those scales. Then, last month, one of the bastards got a hold of my leg. Took me right out of the business. But this alchemist, he needs the scales right away. I have to go. The alchemist was paying so much for the scales that I'm close to having enough saved so that I can retire. But now I can't get out there to the lake. Not with this leg. I only needed 12 more scales. Can you believe it? I was so close. I've picked up a few things in my travel. If help oh, get your fisherman. scales. <clears throat> would you have played the Kingsfield games if you weren't doing a video on them? Good question. Yes, I would have, because I do like weird old early, like, that era of 3D type games. And uh, I can get around sort of the wonky controls, but I definitely wouldn't have played them, like, in succession. Like, I probably would have played them over the course of, like, a year or something, maybe, just casually. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah, I would, uh, I would have played them regardless, I think. Shadow Tower would be a nice stream. Yeah, I'm definitely going to make a video on Shadow Tower in Abyss at, at some point. <clears throat> um, not like imminently, but so I'm working on a video that's not, that's not quite as long. Um, I'm going to be going through the Ultima games, so I'm working on a video right now for Calabeth and Ultima 1, which uh, definitely shouldn't take as long to produce. And... Um, I don't know if it'll be right after that, but yeah, I'll be I'll play Shadow Tower and Abyss um, at uh, at some point over the next uh, few months, I would imagine. Oh wait, that's why I'm getting taken away. <laughs> I didn't he wasn't even using my brain at all. So uh, the fish must be somewhere far away from the lake. I return them frequently and susceptible to, to atmosphere, and Kingsfield is purely that. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Kingsfield is, uh... Kingsfield is, like, one of the most, like, of that type of atmosphere, that, like, dungeon crawly, early 3D sort of lonely, forlorn atmosphere. That game is, like, basically the platonic ideal of that style of game. Your last skooma hit? I've got to take... He's, uh, he's held out as long as he could. Your intelligence has been down. I find that very hard to believe.
Shadowgate, that's, uh... It's funny you say that because I was actually, the other day I was thinking about N64 games to stream and I was, I'd never played Shadowgate 64. I did play, uh, Shadowgate Classic on Game Boy Color back in the day. And I really enjoyed that game. That game is, a uh, has a really unique atmosphere as well. Very, like, surprisingly creepy and, and terrific for a Game Boy Color game. But I've, uh. I've, uh, I've always meant to play Shadowgate 64, but I never have. These slaughterfish are hardy. <laughs> yeah, I actually heard that. It's funny because I was looking at the Ultima Underworld gameplay um, while I was making the Kingsfield video. And it just so happened to come up, this PS1 version that released only in Japan, and I was like, this is actually, like, nuts. Like, it, this isn't just, like, a port. It's not even just, like, an enhanced port. It's, like, borderline, like, a remake of the game, and it looks good. So, I, I was surprised by, like, how few views those videos had, and then, lo and behold, a week or two later, they announced that this fan translation for the PS1 version of Ultima Underworld is finished. So, like, that's awesome. I'm planning on playing that game um, uh, for my channel eventually down the line, so I'm probably going to save it and, and play it uh, just for that video, just for the sake of comparison. But yeah, Ultima, the Ultima games had an interesting relationship with Japan. There was a lot of, a lot of kind of unorthodox ports for many of those games. Ultima is, so there is an Ultima online, uh, which is an MMO, and it was the first, uh, maybe not the first MMO, but it might have been. Certainly the first MMO that gained any kind of, like, widespread popularity. Um, but the Ultima series, uh, I mean, in effect, like, were kind of, like, I would say alongside, like, Wizardry and a few, like, really primitive, like, mainframe games that were designed by, like, university students. They, Ultima games were, like, the first, like, RPGs. They were among the first. Certainly, like, Final Fantasy and all those games were, like, inspired by Ultima, no question. Where is this, like, enemy music fish? Did, it, did a fish get lost in the geometry or something? Hold on, let me just use my fish vision here. Oh, whoops, poor guy. Yeah, Spoon, as much as like, in retrospect, a lot of people are like, kind of turn their nose up at like the, that era of like, game reviews and stuff from like 2010 earlier, like, Spoonies, Spoonies Ultima retrospective, like, to me, there's like no doubt, not a doubt in my mind that like, he had a huge effect on 
a lot of people, myself included, in how they do these types of videos. It's easy in hindsight to look back and say, oh man, that's like, the skits aren't funny or whatever, but it's like, people didn't like make money talking about video games on the internet. And people did not talk about video games on the internet in that way. Those guys like changed a lot of things about how, how like that, how, how, how like get, just like the discourse of gaming on the internet, I guess. AVGN and those guys too. I I'll, I will never be too good for for like a AVGN's double vision or any of those early episodes. There will always be a place in my heart and a time where those are necessary for me. I okay. Where is this fish? I'm starting to get fish rage. If I wait an hour, I can find it. Life is strange. Oh, it's over there. Life is strange. That's that's an interesting suggestion. I can honestly say I have never had anybody make that suggestion before. Uh! That's a, that's pretty off the wall. But uh, I'm I'm uh, glad that you like the video. I'm sure more fish on the surface of the water. Let's go wait an hour. Is that a fish? Why, yes. I would, how would, like, because I'm not getting bit by the fish, it's swinging its tail, so I have to assume this fish has, like, enough muscle mass to actually do, like, significant damage to me. <gasps> Swole fish. Most dangerous kind. Oh, and hello, Naffer. Hello, wrench number two. Dice roll based. Oh. Feel like I have to know, manage a little better to share with them my super secret, minutely multiplayer online RPG. <laughs> I'm. Okay, I'm a, I'm curious. Well, the whole purpose of this mission is to get a gem that may, lets you like breathe underwater indefinitely, which is actually kind of even better for an Argonian.
We're in trouble, boys. I don't think you can do range damage on your body. Oh, you can. You just have to, like, kiss the fish. <gasps> no, 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 no. There's gotta be... <laughs> I don't think Flare is gonna be working too well. No. Is it even doing damage? It's doing so little damage. I think I'll have to come back. I think I'll have to go grab a weapon. Yeah, I think my my personal opinion is that the like James Rolfe uh, as a writer is actually he's actually good at writing and structuring sort of funny like 20 minute long episodes of things. So a lot of, like to me when I think of like what is it, the Atari 5200 video when he just casually drops that line can't fit the cartridge in the slot. It's like trying to stick your dick in a what Cheerio and he just moves on. Hail. To me, that's What's like one of the funniest you? lines ever put to paper by a YouTube person because he didn't like focus on it and turn it into a big joke you're supposed to laugh at. He said it so quickly in passing that if you aren't paying attention to the video, you'll completely miss it, which is what characterizes a lot of that humor of early like AVGN for me. It's like people think of AVGN as very like loud and boisterous and in your face, but actually a lot of the funniest stuff is like weirdly subtle or it's dropped in such a way He's he's just as a human being, he's got so many little kind of idiosyncrasies that you you kind of you can't help but find it funny when he when he drops some line quietly. Nostalgia critics jokes are much more like just like he just writes jokes and says them and waits a second for you to laugh at them and then like moves on type of thing. Which, you know, when you're young, it's you're watching somebody do just talk about Space Jam is just kind of funny in itself. You almost don't really care that much about the quality of the writing side. So but yeah, I mean, I would agree. I don't think his stuff is aged that much. Uh, aged that well, I should say. Who sells stuff here? Who sells weapons? Yeah, I would agree. Fine is probably the right word. Like, especially just May for the I time. You in some of my fine wares? Like, most, most are just kind of just, like, inoffensive. Pleasure doing business. Come back. Leave Jesus. me alone. Yeah, AVGN at this point, I mean... He's got like a team of writers, right? He's, what is he, 40, 43 years old at this point. Like, I think not to like, you know, there's more, there's, there's already too much like AVGN psychoanalysis on YouTube as it is. So, so I'll stay my tongue as far as that goes, but I would say like, he's, he's older now. He has a family. The fire under him, the fi the passion in his belly to do something, to become a cult sensation, to have his name out there and to work on these passion projects. It's clearly, it's just not there because like as a human being, you either lose that after you achieve it or you can constantly challenge yourself to do new things. And I think after the AVGN movie, you just kind of like, this is... Doing AVG on YouTube is a solid, stable job. You know, I'm not in love with doing it, but it's cool to have fans. It's cool to interact with people. It's cool to do this. So I'll just kind of like, I'll just kind of do it to sustain myself, which is perfectly respectable in my opinion. Um, but yeah, it's like, yeah, clearly that kind of that, that level of passion, uh, it just goes away. I think it's just kind of, it's like inevitable you can't actually like be angry at stuff well into his 40s and yet he is the angry video game nerd thus is his burden to bear yeah he could definitely ride off into the sunset if you wanted to i agree with that not gonna make any assumptions about what his like financial situation is like but 
I think uh, it, these this day and age, I mean, I haven't watched a ton of his stuff in uh, some time, but like to me, he's he's at his best when he's just talking about stuff that he likes. When he's talking about movies that had like an impact on him and, and that kind of thing. To me, that's where you can still find that passion in those types of videos. It's not the same fiery, heated, energetic, it's raw kind of like young energy that you get when you're 25 but it it is still it is passion just like directed in a different way i can't believe i lost the slaughterfish here Yeah, Monster Madness, like, Monster Madness, t in, in, in light of the fact that, like, he was doing that while producing, like, an, an episode of the show, like, every couple weeks. That, that type of work ethic where you can spend 18 hours a day writing, editing, shooting, and finding the energy and will to do more after doing it for weeks and weeks, like, that's, that level of energy and passion and youthful exuberance defies logic. That is an energy that visits you like a ghost, and when it comes, you harness it. And inevitably, it will go away, and that's okay. You don't need to have it forever, and the more you try to cling to it, the more it slips away from you. Just t take that spirit when you get it for a few years and ride that wave and then quietly start enjoying your life and your family. Where is this fucking fish? Are you winning? Yes. Yes, father. It's not the kind of game it is, but if it was, I'd be winning right now. I miss fish. Favorite race in Morrowind? Thunmer? I mean, that's a classic choice. Um, I don't know. I like Wood Elves in most of the Elder Scrolls games, and they have, like, sort of fun, silly voices in Morrowind. Oh, greetings, friend. Yeah, we're still hunting fish because the fish won't come out, even though the quest marker is like, here they are. So I got to keep resting every five minutes to hope the fish, like, unjam themselves or whatever is going on. It's like an Easter egg hunt. What else are the quickest to stealth arch? That's also true. It's not why I picked them, but yeah, I mean, it is definitely true. I never, never, never played a Stealth Archer in, in Morrowind. Stealth even, like, vibe? Like, I tried Stealth in Daggerfall. It seems, like, it's incredibly clunky. <laughs> I respect them for trying. It's very ambitious. Where is the fish? Like, do I have to start, like, toggling the no-clip to see if I can, like, find the fish? Is that what I have to do? Okay, he's not... Is he in the rock, maybe? No. <clears throat> yeah, Daggerfall... Morrowind's custom spells are nuts. Daggerfall and... Even Arena's custom spell system is, like, insanely modular. But yeah, you can do some pretty wild stuff in that game. 
I'm I'm there's no fish. I'm just convinced that there's just there's no fish. I overfished. I've never like had this problem with this quest before. <laughs> Maybe it like ran away from home? Maybe it's somewhere else? What's that? Is that a dead fish or a living? Oh. Nope, that's dead. Yeah, if you wanted a YouTube Mount Rushmore, it would just be four, four busts of the irate gamer. Four detailed pictures of Chris Bores. I knew that awake now for right up. Like a jolt of electricity. Like, I don't know, I don't know what to do. I, th I think I might just, like, not be able to do this quest because the fish won't come. How do you, uh... What's the kill fish console command? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, what's happening? What is happening right now? I'm ascended. Tried using a fishing rod? No, I have not. Perhaps the kindly god will be Speed. able to help. Maybe if I come at the fish from above here. Uh. I just wait over and over and over again. Let's go right over. So the marker says right here. Let's do some trickery here. I'm swimming to the below the bottom of the sea. You don't have a very good view down here. This no, still clams. Inside a rock? No. It's not stuck inside a rock. Not that rock, anyway. Wait. Oh, no. That's just a piece of rock. This rock? Wrong ballpark. I guess I'll just move on with my life. Wait, what? Oops. Oh, come on. <laughs> just collide already with the water. <laughs> there we go. I, I like that this is like the first quest you're likely to like stumble into in the game. It's just like a 60% chance that the fish will just disappear. Spawn in the scales. Yeah, I guess. Does the quest trigger activate once you kill the slaughter fish or just once you have the scales? Because I could just could do that. Well, since you can't alt tab, I'll look. I'll look at what the slaughterfish scales ID is on my phone. 
I didn't want it to be this way, everybody. Uh, is it mare slaughterfish scales? Okay. I am not the first person to be searching for this. <clears throat> uh, what is the console command again? Player add item. I think that's it. Yeah. Zero, one, eight, five, three, two. Script sys window. Say what? Oh. Oh, is there a space? Oh. Ah, I see. You need to actually put the quantity. Uh, how many did I kill? Four? Let's try putting eight. Uh, Remare slaughter. Oh. I killed more than I thought. Well, let's see if it works. The quest isn't it like advancing, what is but it? I don't know what I'll do if you don't get those scales for me. I've saved so much for my retirement, but it's just not enough. Oh. Oh, pepperoni party. I'm sorry to hear that. Have I ever lost a pet? Yes. As a matter of fact, we lost our family dog not that long ago. Um. Uh, yeah, would have been just a, a couple of months. Um, yeah, it's terrible. I mean, there's a void there that is just going to hurt for a little while, and it'll slowly get a little better over time, but either way, I'm uh, real sorry to hear that. We got Lucy's paw print up on our shelf. Jess had enough foresight to bring it when we went to the vet to have her put down. You'll find the Ramara slaughterfish all over the lake around did. here. You too. It is, yeah, it is like losing family, yeah. We, yeah, I mean, I don't know what kind of, uh, how long you had your pet. We had Lucy for 15 or so years. I mean, yeah, just notice, like, every little bit of personality about your animal, and there's no, uh, no replacing that. It just sucks. It's like losing anything. It's, you feel like you want to do something to make it hurt less but set there's nothing really you can do but just kind of wait it out i guess sorry not not very good with uh advice on how to deal with this because i'm not really very good at dealing with it myself <laughs> jess is definitely the titan between the two of us <laughs> that quest didn't advance by the way How to advance scope fish. Use the resurrect command to revive the previous fish and then keep killing it. <laughs> okay, I mean, hey. If it works, it works. I'm bringing you back, fishy boy.
Resurrect is not an interior? I mean, who could argue with that? <laughs> Let's see. Theoretically, I guess I'd have to kill it. <gasps> More times? You have 16 of the scale, so that can't be the important part. <laughs> I don't know how many times I'm supposed to do this. Probably a good way to train Blade. Yeah, I don't know. This doesn't this doesn't seem to be working. <clears throat> I'm looking at other alternatives to completing this. Yeah, I don't know if you can... I don't know if you can advance it. Please just take the scales, I've got so many. They're I don't know. Burning a hole. The Romara slaughter fish are... Where are your savings? I understand. He, do he doesn't want them. He only wants slaughter fish scales from... Slaughterfish that he says count. Yeah, I hear that dread the day. I often will kind of ruminate over our cots and it's like, eh, it's not fair. Why do you have to get old? You don't know what's going on. Why can't you just be like immortal? You'd be able you'd be able to get over me a lot easier than I'd be able to get over you. Somebody else would come along and feed you and you'd stop being bothered eventually. There's only one you to feed. figure out how to how to advance quests oh okay set stage Quest ID and then stage. Let's try that. Um, that might have worked. It's moving me to a different quest marker, so I don't know. Hopefully it counts. I hear enemy music. What a relief. Perfect. 
<clears throat> okay, you can move on to the next stage now. Maybe I should just immediately... Come on, game. Don't let me down. Quest still broken. I don't know what I'll do. By the nine, you've got the scales. Yes, we did Thank it. Thank you. Let it never be said and that there are no kind souls in this world. Even though done legitimately, I'll give you I this argue ring that... Trade. I have no use I did for it the it hard anymore, way still. But I imagine that they would be very valuable to someone like you. Thank you, stranger. You've shown me kindness, and I will think of you in the long, comfortable days ahead. Yeah! Jewel of the room air, baby. Alright, uh, I think... Coral is this way. Oh yeah. Let's walk the road. That's what I say. Yeah, things things didn't go too well during that slaughterfish quest but i'm confident that now with that bit of uh, nastiness behind us we have only bright beautiful days to look forward to ahead rolling hills and greenest of grass Get out of here, you lousy freeloader deer. Wander around Fort Nickel. You can. Can't find the entrance. Stealth Archer time. Put your Stealth Archer hats on. Wait, no. That's not what I... Thank you. All the Ollie Oxen free! <laughs> oof. Faint oof heard echoing throughout the virtues. I got 46 lockpicks pretty quick. Battle axe build in Morrowind. That's cool. Battle axes are cool. I respect the axe. Ooh. Shameful, shameful display. Does Jazz Jackrabbit 2? Like like in the YouTube auto-generated title of the game, it says that. It's pretty funny. <laughs> I've never heard that scream. Getting 
What is going on down there? The, did I? I feel like I walked into a battle, but they only started fighting the minute I joined. It's like they were like, places, people, and then they started going at it. Get it out of the water, you dimwits. Uh. It's not looking so good. <laughs> Brett and Peter Griffin. Perfect. Flawless. Flawless victory. <clears throat> you know what? I could probably use the fur boots and gauntlets. Probably pants as well. I don't know. Maybe not. It's pretty good without him. He's a Khajiit. He's wearing nature's pants. Pantless Lamp, they would call him. His name would echo out. Bards would sing tales of his pantless exploits. Well, this was kind of a weird fort. Lamp the Pantless. <laughs> Little lamp pantless. <clears throat> All right, got our uh, obligatory fort out of the way. Oh man, all of these go get your new castle quests. Repair the orrery. Just got out of prison five minutes ago. Hold it right there. Excellent. We will feast upon venison tonight. Actually, a good mods in these games are mods that make furs worth way more to actually incentivize, like, hunting. It's kind of a fun little role-playing thing in Skyrim. Back in the day, I did do a, a uh, no fast travel playthrough of Oblivion on my Xbox. This game is definitely not built for that, but I did it. The game is certainly intended for you to use fast travel. There's just so many quests that'll just send you across the map in the opposite direction to talk to one guy and then back again and uh i mean at least in skyrim you had like the it's like carriages and stuff like that i suppose well, there's probably mage guild portals in oblivion i guess He's an angel. 
It's a beautiful angel. I'm going to set him free. Uh-oh. <laughs> he can't help himself. Come on. Come on. Let's not make this any harder than it needs to be. There we go. Good night, sweet prince. <laughs> Reverb steel pipe sound effect gets cut off as I accidentally touch rusty iron mace on ground. <laughs> no, Chad the day, stop. <laughs> uh. I gotta get out of here. <clears throat> the real challenge isn't doing a no fast travel run, it's doing a third person mode only run. That's something that had really, really impressed me. You know what, Rhetorin? I respect that. I, I, they are good goblins for sure. They definitely, they definitely like have a distinctive sort of goblinness about them that you don't really find very often. Baldur's Gate Three had some charming goblins, but I mean. A D and D goblin, you've seen him once. You've seen him a thousand times, right? I've, I've never played American McGee's Alice. I think Jess might have. I'll never be old. Yeah, yeah, you played American McGee's Alice, right? Oh, Alice Madness returns, right. Thought there was some perfectly dodged as planned. Thought there was multiple ones. American McGee had such a tragic life. Like if you read up on like what happened to him, like his childhood and even into like his adulthood, like Bro has just had a terrible run of like tragedy and bad luck in his life. He was actually, he, he worked as a car mechanic, I think, when uh, John Carmack asked, hey, do you want to join id software to, like, make levels and stuff for us? So, I mean, that's nice, at least. He managed to, like, turn it around in that way. I think John Carmack was getting his, like, Ferrari fixed up, and American was, like, a fan of video games and stuff. Oh, he said he's leaving the game and that sucks. I, I, last I heard he like moved to Japan, I thought, and was maybe doing like mobile games or something. Which I mean, you know, not the greatest, but that's what John Romero did for years.
The goblins know I'm here, but do I know that they're here? Oh. Roast rat. Goblins just want hugs, but they have a very funny way of showing it. Scuba check. I don't have any. <laughs> I'm out. I took my last one during the slaughterfish debacle to take the edge off. See you later, Redrun. All work and no skooma makes Lamp a dull boy. And Lamp was already very dull beforehand. Stockade. How many fathoms deep can we possibly go? What the? <laughs> They're in league with the crabs? Now this is a plot twist I certainly didn't expect. Turn back to chat and see the most brutal uh, chat message I've ever seen. Sorry to hear that, my guy. genuinely making me want to try oblivion again then <laughs> my work here is done i've spread my poison to the masses sometimes sometimes uh, nothing hits like a mid aughts open world rpg with like kind of really simplistic like rpg mechanics and basic quests and and too much bloom lighting Sometimes that's just what the doctor ordered. Oh man, this goblin's got special abilities. I have fear. All right, fool. That's what I thought. Where are you going, huh? Where are you going, huh? Uh-oh. He's remembered that I'm more scared of him than he is of me.
Man, there better be a level chest full of three gold back here, or else I'm gonna be feel pretty ripped off. <laughs> wow. I'll do you one better. A level chest with four gold in it. Must be Christmas. Wow, thank you, Michael. Hey, I'm, uh, I'm just, uh, a simple match, but I, I really appreciate that. That I could help. In whatever small way I might. Nice. Feel a little bit bad with the whole rat thing, but, you know. Can't let him out, can't let him loose. If Magular is a scam, oh man. Gawain is onto me. Onto my ploy. My caper. Anybody else notice that, uh, <gasps> Piranha Bites just, like, quietly put a port of Gothic 1 onto Switch the other day? Not on the list of things I expected to see. Apparently it's not bad, the port. The Risen port left a little something to be desired, but... I guess it's still the best way to play the game on console, not that that's, like, a particularly high bar. But yeah, they released it on Switch. It looks upscaled fairly well. They didn't really change much about the visuals, but they did change the like UI to be more Switch efficient. So that's kind of cool. What is it? What the hell? What? What was that about? Why did he do that? I. What? Where the this is a hold up. Oh, Hand no. it over or Wait, die. I'll ambush him in the bushes. It'll be ten times scarier if I do that. <laughs> we can play it that way if you like. Hold on, pretend you never saw me. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's uh. the oblivion I've been waiting for. Uh. Oh man, this guy's. Uh, I forgot I don't have pants on. This guy's got some. Some muscle. You need your purse, but how is the... How is your situation more urgent than mine? I'm being attacked by a highwayman. Just... Just throw her off. This guy's strategy is paying off big time. Epic parry. Which guy did not have a plan. Well, he did have a plan. The plan was just be in the bushes and then and then attack me when I was near the bushes. That was the plan. So don't say he didn't have a plan. That's really selling him short. It wasn't a good plan. Uh, but it was a plan. His, pl his plan was to disorient me by approaching me on the stairs, get in my face, and then, like, run back to the bushes. That kind of worked. Good solid. Yeah, it's not a bad... Not a bad plan, I would say.
I will be taking all of your blackberries now. Thank you in advance. I'll not be taking the watermelon though. So they are 800,000 pounds. Man, all this picking plants reminds me of our good friend Henry. I wonder what he's up to these days. Still picking out weeds from the uh, the priest's garden. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. These are going to be the best damn restored fatigue potions you've ever seen in your life. I'll sell these for a hay penny apiece and be one shilling wealthier by morn time. Let us go to Wayne on Priory. Let me show you the Amulet of Kings. Do you have the Amulet of Kings? The, uh, Lefebvre Bros playthrough is so good. I'm Brother Joffrey. What do you want? This cannot be. No Let one but the Emperor the amulet is permitted kings. to handle the Amulet. Let me see it. By the Nine, this is the Amulet of Kings. Who are you? How did you get this? What do you know of the Emperor's death? As unlikely as your story sounds, I believe you. Only the strange destiny of Uriel Septim could have brought you to me carrying the Amulet of Kings. His meaning is unclear to me as well. The Emperor seemed to perceive some threat from the demonic world of Oblivion. The Prince of Destruction, Merun's Dagon, is one of the Lords of Oblivion. But the mortal world is protected from the Daedra of Oblivion by magical barriers. I'm not sure. Only the Emperors truly understand the meaning behind the rituals of coronation. The Amulet of Kings is ancient. Saint Alicia herself received it from the gods. It is a holy relic of great power. When an Emperor is crowned, he uses the amulet to light the dragon fires at the Temple of the One in the Imperial City. With the Emperor dead and no new heir crowned, the dragon fires in the temple will be dark for the first time in centuries. It may be that the dragon fires protected us from a threat that only the Emperor was aware of. Some homeless Khajiit wanders in with no pants on, breath still smelling of skooma, and this guy just immediately trusts him with some of the most, like, arcane and important information that's ever been... I am one of the few who know of his existence. That's ever been entrusted, Many years ago, period. I served as captain of Uriel's bodyguards, the Blades. One night, Uriel called me into his private chambers. A baby boy lay sleeping in a basket. Uriel told me to deliver him somewhere safe. He never told me anything else about the baby, but I knew it was his son. From time to time, he would ask about the child's progress. Now it seems that this illegitimate son is the heir to the Septim throne, if he yet lives. His name is Martin. He serves Akatosh in the chapel in the city of Kvach, south of here. You must go to Kvach and find him at once. 
If the enemy is aware of his existence, as seems likely, he is in terrible danger. And please, let me know if there's anything you need. My resources here are limited, but I will help in any way I can. I keep a few things here in... You sent somebody flowers and signed my name as... Oh, I thought that you did. It's like... <laughs> that, that would be the most... Awful... No. I'm trying to like scroll down because now my chat's all met. Oh, there we go. Got it, got it. <clears throat> pack as much as I can carry, I guess. Good enough. Welcome, good citizen. I'm Brother Piner, and I this is I promise I did not want monastery. to talk to you. Can I help you? Look at this guy. You too. What are you reading, man? Drughead Double Digest? Four score. Oh, wait, there's actually words in there. Wow, he's reading fast. He's just, he reads paragraphs at a time instead of words. Oh, let's see here. Let me just look at this next page. He's a quick reader. I'm definitely not that quick of a reader. like the morning breeze. The morning breeze gently blowing on lamps fuzzballs. Quality yeah. goods for sale here. What can I interest you in? You got. Why does it have to ask me for nine gold? Are you sure? You, drive you might a need hard this later. Bargain. That's a fair. A... I really like the uh, the fine. like visual design of this UI. Thought super functional on PC, but I, I like the way it looks. And there all these like mid two thousands RPGs. There's always have like some kind of like a scroll, or there's like a papyrus kind of a uh, thing going on with the UI. I like it. I miss that. Everything's so like minimalistic nowadays. I just I really dislike the way Skyrim's UI looks. It's so just like boring. Let's get back to like you drive a ornate. Hard you drive a hard bargain. You've made. All right, it's enough for three bottles of schooner and now. A good price for a good customer. Wait, maybe I can use. Eh, no. Nah. I'm not gonna. I say that now. Oh, I might use this. It's never gonna happen. Never. All these tomes and books are gonna sit Thank in my inventory. You. Goodbye. That'll be that. She didn't want to buy uh, any of my weaponry. Hello. I don't think we've met. Are you new in town? 
Likewise, I'm always glad to meet someone new. Welcome. I'm sure my mother would be glad to meet you as well. What a strange and forward thing to say to a perfect stranger. Take care. Hello, I'm Rashida, the smith, and this is fire and steel. Quality armor and weapons, repairs too. What can I do for you? I've never been greeted with this much fanfare before in any and shop lowest ever. lowest prices in all Cyrodiil. You may have my broken steel short sword. I have no need of it. That's a good deal. No arrows? Thank you. Be seeing you. Looking for action? Think about the fighter skill. I'm Rena Bruyant. I love. Oh, I remember this lady. This is Todd used this Goodbye. lady as a example in the like pre-release footage of Oblivion, where he was still kind of like lying about what the AI was like. She tries aiming an, a bow and arrow at a target, and then ends up shooting one of her dogs instead. In retrospect, it's a pretty brutal E3 presentation. Why is everyone saying life is strange game in what the is chat? It now? I don't. Life is strange when? I don't know. Are we plans to do life is strange? Maybe never? I don't, I'm not really sure what the, where the, the life is strange thing came from. The life is strange fandom has not forgiven Magular yet. I'm confident saying, uh, that's a powerful entity I'd be okay with making like an adversary out of. Sorry, I gotta start uh, sorting the wheat from the chaff. Life is life is strange, fans. We have uh, we have become mortal enemies now, and uh, you will all rue the day that you crossed me. Kavach at once. I don't want to go to Kavach at once. I'm gonna go back to Coral and start stealing. If I donated 200 euros, would you play Life is Stran Strange? Uh, n no, I wouldn't because uh, you can't coerce me. Well, unless you give me like $10,000, in which case, yeah, okay. Maybe I'll think about playing Life is Strange, but Silver, Silver can tell you, you can't, you can't, uh, you can't buy me off. You can make your voice a little louder, but there's no guarantees in this crazy workaday world.
Ten thousand dollars. Ten thousand Canadian dollars is the price, and I'll play Life is Strange. <laughs> Send me a cashier's check for ten grand. What are, what are these dogs do? Oh, they're going to church. Gotcha. Welcome to the Oak Enclosure. This nothing. Take care. I don't know. Maybe I can just rob some houses in broad daylight. Am I so against life is strange? I don't know. My my literally my only. Uh, interaction with Life is Strange is currently with a bunch of people screaming Life is Strange game in my chat. So you have to understand that, given first impressions, it's not looking too good for Life is Strange right now. But yeah, I don't know. I, it always just struck me as one of those, like, Telltale style, just like, adventure games. Which are not really my thing. Um... Correct me if I'm wrong about that. This is kind of what it looked like to me. Reynold Jemaine. Now this I can do. Is the slap bass playing in my sleep too? Always has been, always will be. Thank you, Mech Exile. Imagine if word got out that Magular has the best Life is Strange video analysis on YouTube. That would be a huge problem. I feel like I would attract a fan base that would not appreciate what I'm all about post Life is Strange. So you got to think strategically. It's not always about uh, immediate gratification, you know? Didn't win a bunch of, I don't know, maybe. I don't necessarily think awards correlate with, like, a game that's, like, enjoyable to play. One of those Walking Dead games got a ton of praise as well. And, the sto like, the story in the first one is uh, not bad, but I feel like that style of game just, like, really quickly overstayed its welcome. Everybody's, like, collectively realized that the choices you make in the games have absolutely, like, no effect on the outcome. Which is a cardinal sin in games where the, the only gameplay is you making choices. It looks like a telltale game, but the point of the game is an anti-telltale game. Oh, interesting. So it's making some kind of a statement, is it? Basically glorified visual novels. I mean, that's kind of the vibe I got. And I mean, like... I could have some meat on the bones if I'm gonna do an analysis on something. I gotta have some game to talk about, too. Call it an interactive experience if everything you pick is pointless and doesn't really change the outcome. I mean, you could call it interactive because you are still like... The game doesn't continue until you play it. So in that sense, it is interactive. Interactive. 
you wouldn't really be able to call it a choose your own adventure. What? What's your problem, Lady? <laughs> What, you've never seen some guy just walk into your place of business and start skulking around trying to avoid you? You creatures are all the same. Wow. Be gone, weakling. I... Irana, very not cool of you. I didn't. <laughs> That's how he dressed Life of Strange fans. Are you referring to the way that Irana dressed my Khajiit character? <laughs> I'm saving up enough for some medicine. Thank you, kind sir. <laughs> yes, it's quite odd. Raynal, who I've bumped into several times in Coral, acted like I was a complete stranger. He's three different accents and also, characters. Also, he seemed sober, <laughs> which is a refreshing change. Usually, Raynal is stumbling around Coral drunk as can be. Very odd, but then, it's really none of my business. Blessings of Mistara upon ye. All right, now he's just be patronizing me. The pipeline loaded up. Um, I would say that it's like primed and ready to go probably for the next like two videos. Um, but I wouldn't say it's like jam packed. I've got some ideas for like ongoing stuff. Like I already mentioned earlier, doing the Ultima games, I would I'd be uh, interested in maybe like trying some of those like D and D games as well. Like those gold box old school games, as well as like some of the more recent ones too doing sort of like a D, D pc game type series so i thought about doing that too just stuff to break up like very long videos genuinely matched opinion on the protagonist using time manipulation to be socially manipulative skinwalker would be interesting but there's a heap of boring stuff to chug through like the cast <laughs> hey thanks for the 10 bucks fenrir Fen Fen I, fenrir's opinion uh, has a great deal of weight in my heart I don't doubt that there's interesting things in the game, but you know. Yes. If I do, if I make a video on a game just because other people want me to, it's gonna come through, you know? You're gonna see it in the script. I gotta at least have some like passing interest. Done the video make 30 seconds long. Yeah, I have a I have a problem like strictly like I know a lot of my videos are sort of like the way that the like video unfolds is in a linear kind of talk like going over story beats and like talking about them and stuff. Um I don't like just doing that. I feel like I'm I try to make a really conscious effort to actually like interject my opinions about music and gameplay and stuff like that where it's relevant. So in games where it's like strictly a narrative experience, I don't think I'd be able to just write like a two hour long video where I'm just like talking about a story. There's got to be a little bit more to it. Even in the case of like Xenogears, where story is like 80% of the whole deal, if not more. There's enough sort of like influences and things outside of the story that are interesting to talk about that like it's easy to like break it up 
into into pieces kind of I, I don't know i feel like i would just have a hard time doing that with those like the modern kind of like adventure game Xenosaga confirmed. That's I'm saving Xenosaga for when I like have like a tremendous amount of like energy. You get what is, it now? What is going on? Xerox, an excellent healer. I'm really <laughs> There's one whole Whopper to help you deal with these foul requests. Thanks, Snaffer. Wow, Whopper Wednesday, five dollar hamburger? You got some what a hot smoking property. hot deal. That's a that's a Canadian deal if I've ever heard of one. A good price for a good customer. I think I can move this item for you at that price. Uh, Shadow hide you. <laughs> I've had so many different reactions from all these people. It. Hello there. I'm a, I'm 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 getting to the point where I'm like almost just never playing Life is Strange out of spite. I'm going to start pretending I've played Life is Strange so I can tell people that I hate it. I'm going to like have an opinion based on never having played it. Uh, just because we're like reaching this critical point in the in the stream chat. I'm going to look at a Spark Notes version of the entire story. And when people ask me about my opinion on Life is Strange, I'm going to give a really detailed and convincing analysis, well, even though I'm never, I've never played it. Do do? And people are going to think that I have, and they're going to be like, oh, wow, thanks for the warning. I'm never playing Life is Strange, thanks to you. I'm going to be like, hey, I play it, so you don't have to. And I'm going to turn around and be like, <laughs> I've never played it. <laughs> Another person who isn't playing Life is Strange. Go to Armand. Yeah, Bruma, this area in uh, Oblivion is definitely one of the most comfy areas. I do like Bruma. It's a little taste of Skyrim without being like... It's like chilly, but it's not, you know, death's door frigid. Wait, no, not separated at birth. Where's the... Oh. <laughs> I have no... I don't have preconceptions. <laughs> I didn't have any preconceptions about it. I genuinely went into Life is Strange as a concept with an open mind, but seeing now what Life is Strange fans are like, it's, st it's starting to make me think that it's a certain type of game, you know? Good to see you again. It's a certain type of game that, uh, you know, so both at the opposite end of the spectrum from Kingsfield. That's a no-go for me. The Guild has received a request to obtain a unique statuette. It is a bust of Lafasa Indaris, the recently slain Countess of Chadenhall. You will be paid a modest sum. Do you want this job? Excellent. Bring it back to me once you have it. Shadow High. I gotta, I gotta use the bathroom. I also, I gotta go smoke a cigarette in the bathroom. I'll be back.
and you go smoke one cigarette and all of a sudden Jess starts laying down the law with like a righteous fury and vengeance the likes of which hasn't been seen before <laughs> it's a once a, it's a once in a lifetime subject so anyway how about this here uh oblivion anybody ever play this uh, what a game am i right 100 gold coins that's not very much crush the dart fast yeah i stuck two cigarettes in my mouth at the same time lit them both <laughs> at the same time and he went and i just smoked the entire thing from like beginning to end so it was just a long ash thing just fell off and i just threw it in the toilet and came back it took me uh seven seconds Check this out. This is like, um, it follows. Oh, never mind. It doesn't actually. Hi. Please be generous, kind sir. That sure, I've heard about it. What's it worth All right. to you? She's the lady of many impressions. Counting Doris recently commissioned a bust of the Tharza. They say the elves carved it. We put it near a tomb in the chapel underground. He also posted a guard so that her tomb wouldn't be disturbed. Used to be anyone could visit her, but now it's off limits to the public. There's a room going around at the All right, between the joke about me smoking cigarette in the bathroom and the coughing, it's starting to sound like I actually do. I, I haven't... I used to smoke, but I haven't smoked in a long time. I didn't actually just go smoke a cigarette in the bathroom. Counting Doris recently was a joke. You're supposed to picture me like Ben Affleck with like my head in my hands. They say the elves carved it. <laughs> I'd be in such big trouble if I did that. In the chapel he also posted a guard so that her tomb wouldn't be disturbed. Oh, Silver, of course you were Benson and Hedges, guy. Right? But now it's off limits. Probably walked around with alligator shoes and a fitted suit for There's no reason. There's a rumor going around that the Undercroft may what be What is going on with the voice? <laughs> Lessons of Mistara upon you. Oh. Fake smoker. <laughs> Oof. Come on, I gotta... Uh oh no wait no don't alt tab that's not a good idea i just gotta like duck and cover basically <laughs> i'm better i'm not i saw some water the wrong way so i'm gonna drink more that'll fix it <clears throat> You shut up, man. <laughs> They're smooth. <clears throat> That's the problem. I didn't like smooth when I smoked. Stand clear. Tuberculosis. The legacy of Red Dead lives on. I agree. Now we just got to make it out. Netty is sound. Should come this way, right? Oh. Eee. Oh, that's that's what you call a real patrol route. Did 
they didn't know would hit him. Get your black horse courier here. I'm gonna have to do some more burglary. I like this. I like doing the burglary. <clears throat> That's cool. Mm. Geronimus Lex. Can you tell me where Armand Kristoff is hiding? What do you want? Can't you see I'm in the middle of You know where the Then you are wasting my time. <laughs> I love that they give you the option. <laughs> they call me Isleaf the open-handed because I'm so generous. Well, don't expect a handout from me. He's in hiding. I hear Methradel is looking for you, though. <laughs> Methradel. Shadow Hydra. Have you what? seen Armand Kristoff? What? Who's this? Methradel. <laughs> Conjurer's body. I'm Adam. Wait. Yes? Did she say I'm Adenrel? I'm discouraged? Thank goodness I found oh. you. I assume you know that Hieronymus Lex has issued an arrest warrant for Armand Kristoff. Who's that, like, menacing figure behind the pole over here? Listening in. He is in hiding. Armand is accused of stealing the bust of Lathasa Indaris from Chaden Hall. They say Count Indaris himself filed the charges. Why are you yelling? There's so many guards nearby looking at you right now. There never was a client that commissioned the guild to steal Lathasa's bust. Armand used you to flush out an informant that infiltrated the guild. Mavrina Arano. Now Armand needs your help to neutralize her. You're going to pin the theft of the bust on Mavrina. She lives in the waterfront. Plant the bust in her cupboard. Look Make at sure this she smile, the see smile of an then evil. Then go tell Hieronymus Lex that unfolding. she is the thief. Every he probably won't believe you, so you may have display. to persuade him. Hopefully you will at least go and check it out. Shadow hide you. I like those. Oh, I thought, they, I thought she was wearing chaps. <laughs> Something Have Oblivion's you seen missing. Christoph? Have you seen the perfect plan. It's a good thing he's just sleeping, like, in the middle of the day. I need a skeleton key. Seen Armand Chris. What do you want? You know, your credibility is suspect. No, oh, do I have to tell you jokes and yes, boast to you until you finally smile enough to accept me or bribe you? Which is definitely don't make a legal, me laugh. legally questionable action. I'm not buying that one. Don't, yeah, I get it. Hey, big smile. Yes. I doubt you really mean that. 
<laughs> That's pretty good. I doubt you really mean that. Bl not... Yes. Yes, whatever you say. <laughs> yes. Yes. I doubt you. Yes. Yes, whatever you say. How about that? Your credibility. Oh, come on. Go ahead. That's a bit excessive, don't you think? No. No more. You're frightening. Don't be silly. No more. Not bad. You're frightening me, <laughs> Hieronymus Lex, talking to some idiot looking Khajiit. <laughs> Please. I'm scared. That's a bit excessive. You're a big... Sure. Don't. Please. I'm sorry. You're cra Oh, come on already. We'll see. Every little bit for me. Are you sure? Oh, okay, yeah. There we go. That can't be right. She's Hold my... On. I mean, she doesn't My disposition isn't at 70 yet. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. But I'll <laughs> have to check it out anyway. If you are right... There will be hell to pay. You <laughs> will have to come along. Yeah, in real life, you walk up to people and it's like, I would like to joke, boast, coerce you. If you'll give me a moment of your time. Hey, I love these cutscenes. accusing you of stealing the bust of Lathasa from Chaden Hall. <clears throat> I even found the bust in your cabinet. What do you have to say? Like, any... Ooh. You've Any just person exposed me to the thieves guild. <laughs> that citizen is actually If I came up to a guard and said I know where the bust is hidden and he found it Regret right there I have no like it, you would have to at least suspect that it was like true. planted there. You if wouldn't even think for a second box, that maybe the guy who point. doesn't know you who knows I've it's in this cupboard you had really something to do with this. I've been loyal to you. Oh, I know I've him well. He boasted to me. He done. joked with me. You he gave me 24 me gold. Like this man <laughs> is truly one to be trusted. Yes, I can. <laughs> you are under arrest for the theft of the bust of Lathasa and Doris, Countess of Chadenhall. Come with me. Did you see her face? As she opened the door and disappeared, she was walking and she got to the door and she started disappearing. She looked at the counter and went, <laughs> it's like, she's like, I'll get you from prison. I'll come back from this. <laughs> so perfect. <laughs> Trying to play it all civil for Lex. <laughs> Oh. oh, now I gotta wait. <laughs> uh, this game. This game rules, even when it doesn't know it. With your help, I uncovered the informant that had compromised the Thieves' Guild. I know I used you in this matter with the Lathasa's bust, but I couldn't be certain that you weren't working with Mivrina. Here is the reward you were promised. Even though the bust is gone, you've earned it. I'm also promoting you to the guild rank of Bandit, which will let you use Darji of Leowin as your fence. Good work. Sadly, I don't have anything for you. I only work with the less experienced guild members. You should go see Scriva in Breville from now on. <laughs> you can find- You look nice today. I'm very smart, by the way. Here's five dollars. Now, I may know where your missing socks are. <laughs> I trust this man with my life! My life! <laughs> the- the- the in-depth persuasion system. <laughs> Thank you for the five dollars, Scotty. Hide you. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. I don't believe a minute of that rot. Oh, a gift. Why, thank you. Just going through all the emotions. Hi there.
we've moved on to Breville. Question is, should I take a long journey to walk there? Or should I just fast travel? I feel I feel like it's kind of cheap if I just like fast travel over there. I feel like maybe I should go on like a little like vision quest to get there. Meet some quest markers along the way. Have a good time. Who knows what kind of crazy things could happen. I skooma for the run. <laughs> I think I bought skooma from the one guy and it emptied from his inventory. Maybe it spawns in every like 72 hours or something. I don't know. This whole skooma thing. I got to be in like a financial position to actually be able to afford skooma. I had to be able to find it. So there's that one place in like the temple district. I feel like that's a part of a quest. Pack a skooma. Hey, 50 different caves. Now we're talking. I got a thing about conjurers. Blue suede shoes. Now we're cooking with gas. Let's throw those bad boys on. Oh, wowza. Why does everybody have such dainty little feet in this game? His kneecap is like extends further outward horizontally than his foot does. Help, it's a rat. Oh, it's a crab. Even scarier. Oh! <laughs> oh no, poor guy. <laughs> he didn't deserve that. He could have had a an honorable death at my hand, at least. Oh, come on. There we go. Oh, you're up there, Welkland Stone. I know you're up there. I think. Oh, there we go. Just gotta get the sweet spot. Probably hit from the side, actually. That's better. Lobsters or crabs superior, though? It's something I ponder about often. Well, that's... I mean, that's a question that every person can only answer for themselves deep down inside the depths of their heart and soul. The lobster represents uh, power and loyalty and... Um, exquisite taste, but the crab is resilience. Raw power. Ooh. Getting gassed here. The crab represents uh, the ability to to grab a knife and a gun and to get back up after you've been knocked down over and over again. It represents evolution. It represents adaptability. It represents your ability to look the cruel reality of humanity in the face and say, I'm going to move forward in spite of this. And I will find beauty in this dark, unfriendly to crabs world.
what the lobster represents being able to like finally beat your dad in an arm wrestle so I don't know it's totally up to you can't tell you what to believe I'm a bit of a lobster man I think probably Uh oh wait a minute hold on oh wait hold it is this umbra did i uh -huh. did i x no did i find umbra by accident we're gonna be here till next tuesday This is going to take so long. Oh, I did see the health bar go down a tiny bit. Strap in. Marksman skill increase. This is a great way to train. This health bar is just barely moving. Wait, maybe there's something I can do. Train speed. That might do the trick. Fireballs do seem to do slight. Is it even like is she, is she regenerating health? I don't think, do I ha even have like poison? Poison of apathy and cowardice. Poison of illness. Yeah, I don't know. Might be all right. Oh. <laughs> I deserve that. All right, um, wait, this place is called Vindazel. <laughs> it just gets better and better all the time. Let's, uh, put a literal pin in this. Wait, how do you... I know you can do a custom marker. How do you do it? What is the qu the custom marker... I know that it's a thing. It's it's not clicking. No. What what the What okay, whatever. Just remember Vin Diesel. Shouldn't be too hard to keep in your mind. My favorite actor. <laughs> I wonder if anyone's ever like said that and meant it. In the end, Oblivion is a game about family. <laughs> I mean, yeah, under certain definition, you could probably say that's true. It's about Martin Septim and his like lineage. So it kind of is about family. that ending scene where um, the hero Kavach and Martin are both driving their cars and they look at each other and smile and like end up splitting at the exit that actually made me cry the first time I saw that
Oh, yeah, shift plus click was right. Thank you for that. Oy. Well met. Welcome to Pell's Gate, friend. Thank you. That's a cool you hat. Too. Time to steal. Brooms, quill. Who puts a broom in a chest? You know, that's... To me, that's more illegal than stealing. Oh. Bernard. Look at these little individual little tiny bites of crap. Everything in this game is so dainty. Little feet, little sword handles, little hands holding the swords, little crab bites. Also the the like the, the loot in houses in this game. Like in Witcher 3, you can just like go into somebody's house and they'll have like, just like emerald dust and crafting materials that are like way higher level than anything you have. Just some guy out in the wilderness. <laughs> He's got like quicksilver ingots for like no reason. He doesn't care if you take them. Oblivion, it's always like rooms yeah it is always crystal dust horn cave you think that cool music plays when you're in it Comfy cozy. Look at him ready for autumn. Who's there? Ah! Just me. Dogs on high alert. Dogs on high alert, part two. Why'd they have to give him such a sad damage noise? This contraption. Ooh. Oh no, what's gone everywhere? My seven gold pieces.
Thoughts on Oblivion level scaling? Yeah, I don't like it. I, uh... Oh, these imps, like, this is unreasonable. I mean, come on. Look at that jackhammer imp ass. That's insane. How can we even compete? Yeah, I'm not I'm not a fan of level scaling basically ever. Unless it's optional. Like, Witcher lets you do level scaling if you want to. That's the way to do it. Check that room there. What? Oh. Don't know where our cat's just completely biffed a jump. That's too bad. I missed it. Yeah, I, I, I vastly prefer when areas in RPGs are just like level gated, like just be kind of hard stopping grounds, or in the case of like something like New Vegas, just make it so like. It's extremely difficult, but not impossible to deal with certain challenges. Or just make it impossible. Make it so that you have to come back and deal with it later. I think level scaling just basically only has negative effects on progression in these games. It just makes you feel like you're punished for like using the systems that the game want you to use to become more powerful. Like, Oblivion, the game is, like, the metagame strategy in Oblivion is to just, like, not get to a very high level. Which is so just counterintuitive. People, people complain about the Cazadors in New Vegas, but to me, it's like, that's like a good idea. You can get past them. It's really hard. And the game is sending a message to you, but you can do it. that imp's bottom blind. I gotta keep my bowstring knocked now. Slightly more extensive than any cave I've seen so far. Also, never understood the imp sound effect. It's such a weird, like, choice. Make them sound like a bird whistling. They look like little demon men. Why do they whistle? Bat sounds, yeah, that's true. Actually, I've never—I don't think I've ever heard a bat. To be honest, I guess they do make little squeaks, eh? I 
I'm uh, bats do exist where I live, but thankful th thankfully they're not very common. I am not a big fan of bats. What the is that rat alive? <laughs> okay, not anymore. It was cruising towards me with the enemy music playing. That's so nerve wracking. Yeah, it's true. There is no spooters in Oblivion. The rare fantasy game that doesn't have giant spiders walking around. Things got some serious like range on their jumps though. tongues man this thing should fit me like a glove oh pay no mind to my robe <laughs> are we looking dapper yes or yes wowza look at this velvety beautiful robe my goodness the way the textures stretch towards the bottom there flex fit style <laughs> I couldn't be happier with the outcome of this here, Cave. <laughs> Lamp is looking good. Yeah, baby bats can be deceptively cute under, like, extremely specific circumstances, but there's something, like, seeing, like... And at those like markets in China, they'll like have bats like strung up in certain places, and it's like just like the the their their super long limbs and their small bodies and the and their like translucent wings, the fa like that to me is just like triggers some deep primal fear that like those those wings that you can like slightly see through they're slightly like almost yellowish looking. That just like ugh. anything with like in inordinately like long limbs. I don't need that in my life. But yeah, I mean when they're snuggled up in a blankie eating bananas, of course they look adorable. Any animal does under the right. I don't think there's. Well, I shouldn't say that. There's there's probably some animals, but like, you could make a a moth look cute if it's in a very small blanket eating a tiny banana. I should be jumping more often. That's so true. I gotta get that. I gotta get the acrobatics pumped up. I remember when I was uh, younger and played this game, I had heard that. Um, what the hell? I'd heard that um, most of the land masses are like randomly generated, which, like, of course they are. That's how most of these open world games, at least at the time, that's how they were. Um, but I always liked coming across stuff like this because it's like definitive proof that like a designer had to have like actually really intentionally made this part. It's nice waterfall.
that pond is doing that because there's two reflection planes in view. Oh, yeah? So, like... Backing up, actually, like... There's probably some, like, distant reflection stuff. Okay. I buy that. The real question is, is there anything at the bottom of the pond? And disappointingly, it seems the answer is no. That's a tough pill to swallow. Oh, the pond in the lake. Oh, I see. I see, it's a feature. I'm a powerful champion. I can do the quest. Yeah, that's what I thought. You approach the sh Do you think yourself a hunter? Leave an offering of the pelt of a bear or Uh, let's see. Level Goodbye. 17. Yeah. Not quite there yet. I can't imagine like for like the people who were actually designing the Elder Scrolls games like what a step up in like flexibility this this engine was compared to Morrowind and that's over the course of like four years or maybe even less no I think it was about uh oh I think it was four years so I mean like like having actual physics in your game engine and like Morrowind is very 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 stiff no wait I'm on your side you ingrate no I don't think I'm gonna be able to ride this unicorn Definitely sure I'm not going to be able to ride this unicorn. Alright, it's not going to happen. The journey to Breville, Breville has been nothing but trouble. There's, I, th I think you can ride the unicorn, um, but I ticked this one off somehow. I mean, I guess the Minotaurs are its friend, but I distinctly remember being able to ride the unicorn because it has the stable icon when you hover over it. But the fact that it's in like an aggressive state, I think is going to be an issue. I have to kill it. Your attack has no effect. Uh oh. It's a mystical creature. I think yeah, it's a it is a very good horse, but I don't know if you can stable it. Pretty sure you can only stable horses that you've actually purchased. Everything else is, will just go away after a, like a load. <laughs> yeah, take that. Maybe I can walk him off a cliff a few times. <laughs> this unicorn really has it out for me. <laughs> Big time. Const 
console it to become friend. I don't know if I. I don't know if you literally mean like console it, like try to like hush it back to health, or like console command it. Well, well, well. Look who's not so high and mighty after all. How do you do that? I don't know if you can. Can you? Command console. How do you do it? Friend. Damn. I'm just gonna, I'm guessing. No. Potion of apathy. Potion, what about uh, a, a spell of fear? What if I demoralize it? Oh yeah? You afraid of me? No, nope, you have to go through the water. I'm gonna block you on land. You're gonna have to swim away. <laughs> uh oh. It's angrier than ever. Alright, I don't know. <laughs> City guards just see. It's like. Khajiit wearing a fur hat and like this super gaudy smoking jacket <laughs> while a unicorn <laughs> chases me into t guards help help please they don't even care wait but he's gonna go to town though come on you gotta do something about this guy he's gonna get me out of this mess I'm gonna fix here boys no <laughs> Don't talk to it. Is he talking to it? I swear I- he's looking at its ass and talking to it. I swear I saw him talking. <laughs> oh. Hey, maybe this is my perfect gold, golden opportunity. Uh-oh. Don't worry. <laughs> I'll protect the unicorn. I'll guard him. Don't cut- this is the unicorn corner. Stay away, citizen. By the nine divines. <laughs> Don't go- no oh, oh, he's letting him out. <laughs> Alright, well, I'm sure he'll still be there when I get back. I'm listening. There's a unicorn outside. I'm only asking for a single coin. Shut up. watching your content for a while i wanted to let you know i enjoy the nostalgia and thoroughness of your content a 10 out of 10 on the comfy scale for sure hey thank you soviet dog i appreciate that that's like the that's the scale that matters most to me so i'm glad to hear it's a 10 out of 10 that's some high praise thank you for the ah, super chat you are the new thief i am your new doyen sadly you must demonstrate sell more oh. stolen treasures to the fences I should probably get a new fence soon. It'd be nice Good if I didn't have to go to Bruma every time. I mean, look. No offense, the people of Breville are salt of the earth, good old fashioned, uh, the types of people you'd love to down a vat of warm mead with but for crying out loud these houses do not scream full of valuables to sell to a fence maybe the mages guild i bet you the mages guild and the fighters guild have like a bunch of stuff just like sitting around for the taking how are you better after i take your cheapest wines Full of skooma. That is true.
Argonian women in this game are cute, 10 out of 10. You like that uh, sultry lounge singer voice that they all have? Are you here about joining the Mages Guild? All right, well, sometimes it's more sultry than others. Please, I'm in desperate need of help, and I think you're the only How are one you? that I can turn to. Her disposition changed quite a bit there. You think I can get it? Hey, hey! Yee -hee. Yee -hee. That's what I'm talking about. Ooh. Please, by all means. Oh, yes. I ran across a couple of I'll just help myself. Annoying creatures. Disgusting creatures. I hope to never see another. Uh, Are you talking about goblins again? Oh, yeah, it's just uh, all of you, uh, or an anime. Stop! Oh! Hold it right there, me, Mr. Criminal Guy Scum. I'm, I'm, I'm very disappointed in myself. Don't worry, I'll be leaving the premises. All the way to big, beautiful Bruma. Now I just need to find uh, Earthgar Baron you Smonker. Dive as a beggar have the <laughs> fortitude to say that. Oh, it's probably at the bar. Speaking of uh, racially profiling Oblivion characters, that Nord is probably at the bar right now. I'm really tired. You got some hot property. I got more than just a little. Fine. A fine. Yeah, these poisons almost A always stink. Let's see. A fine transact. Huh? Pretty good. Shadow Pretty good haul. You. Cat ears? No, stop imagining that. Is there some way you can stop people from imagining things? I think there, there's uh, some guilds here. Mm. Well, if it's against the law to steal from mages, then lock me up. Oh, the game just crashed. <laughs> as if summoned by a deity. <laughs> Let's try that again. Frankly, the fact that it's run for like four and a half to five hours without crashing so far is genuinely surprising to me. And it's pretty easy to get back in the game. Did you guys put that in there? It's not really worth it. Alembics, Alembics, Alembics. I really need a crystal ball. This is where it's at. Make sure you lock the onion closet. Why?
I'm gonna have skooma labs in every city. All these poor mages gonna wake up, come downstairs. We had like 500 Alembics yesterday. Where did they go? There was 13 retorts on this table and at least one calcinator. Oh, mama. I already got the best outfit in the game. I doubt we can... I doubt it'll go up from here. Ooh. Uh-oh. Hold on, let me just dump something off here. Yeah, you guys can hang on to that. Equivalent exchange and all that. Well, see you later. Like a thief into the night. That's the way you blow through the air. I'm really tired. You got some hot property. I think I can move this item for you. Not doing too bad at all. Take it you want something. What is Alright, back to Breville. They can pat me down now, because all my goods have been sold off. He's too damn handsome in that voice, my god. Look, you don't have to tell me. But, but enough about Lamp, let's talk about me again. Oh, I guess I probably shouldn't break one of the Thieves Guild tenants within two days of joining it. You have returned? I have a special request from the widow of a former fence in Leowin. As your new doyen, I am asking you to help her. Skyrim's Thieves Guild would have been like 50% better if they just made you actually rob houses like Oblivion She's does. Offering a reward. The guild frowns on Instead there's like one thieves. robbery mission and then it's Are a bunch of Draugr spelunks. To to find the ring and get it back to Adarji. This is good. Go to Leowin. Speak with the Darji and help. Good. Hunting. I call it for an old beggar. All right, let's hear your voice. I can eat for the day with a sick. Mage's guild members have said that Kudai is an excellent teacher, as well as a very loyal guild member. Liar. Yeah, the 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 like. <laughs> oh God! Wow! Wow! I think I'll take the uh, scenic route. 
the like if they had thrown in those like radiant quests as like a thing in between main quests to me like all of skyrim's like the the best quest lines in oblivion to me are the thieves guild and the dark brotherhood as far as like the main faction quests go and part of what makes them good is that the game actually forces you into situations where you have to like act in accordance with what that guild would be so for the thieves guild the way they achieve that is like not only by having all of the missions be related to actually stealing things and sneaking around and thieving but also in between missions you actually have to ro go find your own houses rob them in the dead of night creep around while people are sleeping and then find a fence to go sell those stolen goods to you actually feel like a thief and even if that's not your preferred play style the game forces you to do that which i think makes the quest line more consequential and for the dark brotherhood the way they achieve that is by having all of those optional objectives in the main brotherhood quests so like you got to assassinate this guy but we're going to give you a beefy totally non-negligible bonus if you if you sneak in and don't get spotted and you replace his tea with poison and then you sneak out without getting noticed again so automatically that small caveat goes from having it be a boring mission where you find a guy and kill him and then come back to get your reward to actually having to like play like an assassin and to avoid confrontation and that instantly makes it so much better that's why i think people tend to remember dark brotherhood more than anything because it had like the highest concentration of quests that weren't just go grab this thing and come back and it also made the quests that were that 10 times more interesting just by adding those little optional objectives even in assassin's creed the games benefit from having those like you can get a hundred percent synchronization if you do this like kill kill the enemy with a blow dart instead of whatever skyrim for some reason like it made the quest lines feel so much less like you were actually the guy in the faction doing the thing that the faction does because you can just kind of do anything other than in a few instances there were some good quests in those faction quest lines but for the most part it totally uh, missed the mark in my opinion You, like the, you can get from like the beginning of the Dark Brotherhood quest to the end and it'll feel like just like lickety split. You don't really feel like you got to know everybody in the guild that well. You don't feel like the, there's like significant consequence to everything. The guild I think had some interesting ideas. I like the whole Cicero angle with the Night Mother and everything like it, it, there, there was some like interesting ideas there but like the missions themselves were just so like by the numbers to me oblivion takes simple concepts but like elevates them just by adding little kind of asterisks to the objectives not to say that skyrim doesn't have some like things that it does much better than oblivion too because of course of course it does but but as far as quests go yeah, I don't know. I never Skyrim really never grabbed me that same way as uh, as Oblivion did. Yeah, the Thieves Guild quest line is great. That final quest, and it feels epic. It feels like you've earned it because you actually have had to do a lot of work to go steal enough money to earn your next rank in the guild, and then doing those main missions. Even the Mages Guild, which I consider to be one of the weaker faction quest lines, it's actually cool that you have to go from city to city and earn a recommendation from everybody. You don't just show up as some, like, grug caveman warrior who happens to know a level 1 fireball spell and all of a sudden you're just allowed to become Archmage in the next, like, three missions. Two of which involved killing Draugrs in Ancient Tomb. Yeah, I, I agree, Gawain. Just uncomfortable, like, yes, yeah, like, even in the sense that just, like, you kind of are strongly encouraged to engage with a play style that might not mesh what you've already done. Because so I would I would bet you most people who, when you first play Oblivion, probably play, like, a sword and board character. Which makes the Thieves' Guild very difficult, but not impossible.
<clears throat> yeah, it did it did feel like Oblivion's not terribly different. You still do climb the ranks and everything, but like you don't become like well, at least, not as far as I remember, you don't become, like, boss of the Thieves Guild or whatever, and it feels like it takes longer, it feels like it's more... more earned, I think. Mor Morrowind does that slow progression through the ranks thing better still, I would say, but I find most of Morrowind's quests are, like, just less interesting than the faction quests in Oblivion. Because Morrowind is, like, very limited by... Um just like not just this engine and kind of like design wise what they were like willing to do with it <clears throat> well i mean certainly not <laughs> perfect but it is a step up in a lot of ways i think the the world in oblivion is like far more interactive i think it kind of like solidified what like bethesda's design was whether you think that's a good thing or whether you think it's a bad thing the idea of having this world where you can interact with all of this clutter and these objects and these people are all named and, and like, you know, you can like jump on rooftops and you can, enemies ha have ragdoll physics so you can like fire over the edge of something and lure them into traps, and all that kind of thing. Morrowind I think was a little more stiff when it came to all that stuff. You felt, felt, it felt like there was more kind of rules in place about you knew that the quest would never be outrageous. You knew that there would never be anything real surprising about the quest because you kind of knew what Morrowind was capable of. Oblivion steps outside of that like a few times to kind of surprise you. I think it really benefits from that in, in uh, retrospect. Which game had the best music? That's actually... <laughs> that's a, I think every Elder Scrolls game has got great music, actually. I don't know if I could pick. They're, they they all have. Uh, I'm on the. Uh, they all have like, just awesome, totally iconic tunes. Blessings of the. Mor shadow. Morrowind's soundtrack to me like, it's not the weakest in terms of quality, but I think that it just, like, there's not enough songs, in it. You hear the same few songs very often, but the songs are awesome. They're great. Don't get me wrong. Oblivion has a nostalgia quality for me. And Skyrim ha just has, like, such a fantastic, like, Nordic ambient soundtrack. Like, Skyrim, it's, like, perfect writing music for me. <laughs> Ar Arena's, Arena's soundtrack is, like, sort of a proto Daggerfall. So I think there are a the few, like, kind of fun tracks. You. But Daggerfall Why does the prey definitely... Approach me? Da Daggerfall actually has good music. I used some of it in my Kingsfield video. Oh yeah, the the Daggerfall's whole design philosophy is just like drop you into world and like you do thing whatever you want, simulation any kind of stuff. So definitely has like the most allows you the most freedom to to be the kind of character you want. Yes. A filthy Argonian stole my precious ring. It was a gift Damn from Argonians. my mate. It has They ruined Argonia. Sentimental value. I will pay well. The stupid lizard hunts with the name Amusai. Find him, find my ring. Make him suffer. Kill him and I will be pleased. That's not how it works, lady. Stupid guild rules. He is only an Argonian. He is less than human and much less than Khajiit. <laughs> if you must spare him, at least make him suffer. Swift hunting. Yeah, was it? A lot of those old PC. I don't know if Arena was the same thing, um, but Daggerfall for sure. Like the quality of the soundtrack is directly related to what kind of a synthesizer your uh, computer was using. So like some stuff is like more kind of that Microsoft it. classic MIDI sound. Sometimes you get more sort of like the the Genesis fart bass. She lives on the west side of town. Meet you. I might. 
A poor bugger was arrested. Seems he tried to swindle the Countess. He's rotting in a cell in the cap. It's common knowledge that the jailers can be bribed to allow visitors to see prisoners. Blessings of Anu upon ye. It's not that common knowledge. I didn't know. Got into Morrowind recently, finally making up for not being able to get into it when I had it on Xbox. Oh yeah, that's, I mean, if you're going into it with a uh, childlike sense of wonder, there's a lot going on in Morrowind. I can understand bouncing off of it, but it, Morrowind is fantastic. The writing in Morrowind is very, very good. Um, I recommend if you approach Morrowind, like... Don't come at it to, uh, I'm not you specifically, but like anybody in the chat who hasn't played Morrowind is kind of interested. Try to like put your, uh, your focus on it. Don't come at it like it's one of those games where you throw on like a podcast or something while you play. Just shut your brain off. Read, read all the books in the game. Like immerse yourself in the lore. It's really rewarding to play it with that like intention. You're not supposed to be down here. Yeah, we got him here. Argonians aren't allowed visitors, though. Countess Alicia's orders. She's the thing about the lizard folk. Amu say, you say. 20 I, I gold. Thought you wanted to, to see Amu day. Well, that's a week's He's pay. He's off limits. Amu say, though, is just down the hall. Uh, make it quick. I have to get back to work now. Mm. Yeah, ro the, the idea of like actually role playing in a role playing game is kind of. I feel like it's not something that's talked about as much these days, but it's like I when I was younger. Uh, well, not that much younger when I was like in my like, teens and stuff, and I played a lot of these open world RPGs at the time. I always like came up with like a play style or like even in new vegas instead of just trying to like meta the shit out of the game actually like just come up with a character and like try to act in accordance as much as possible with that character and it's so much more fun when you immerse yourself and do that it's it's as close to like playing outside with sticks pretending they're swords as a kid you uh, can get as not a kid anymore you. what do you want why should i tell you where it is here I sit in Leowin's dungeon, while you are free. What will you do for Amusai, if I tell you? You'd do that for me? Maybe you guild types aren't so bad after all. Okay, it's a deal. Give me a lockpick, and I'll tell you about the ring. Sunlit Freedom. Yes, I stole that ring from a daiji. When I went to sell it, the fence told me I was too hot for him. He showed me an inscription I on the inside. I can relate to that. To Alessia. That had to be the Countess of Leowin. The damn ring was stolen property. Well, I figured I would ransom it back to the Countess. Except she tricked me. I was arrested for theft. And she kept the ring. Uh, the Countess rarely leaves the castle. Good luck getting it back. I don't need luck. I've got the F5 key. I owe you a debt of gratitude. You oh, look at that. Lost. Simulated bum crack. You know, I don't actually know. I don't know about the physiology of the Argonian. So maybe they're like feelers or something. I, I, I don't know. Oh. Oh, oh. I'm tr still trying to figure out how my Khajiit, who has fur, has like... Well, you can't see it now, but he's got a beautiful head of hair. <laughs> Looks over his shoulder. 
What? An Argonian. I don't know what her problem with Argonians is. She's going to cause some real problems if she's not careful. So long. Farewell. Let's hear it. Oh, Vita say goodbye. Have pity on an old. I'm only asking. So, Alicia Caro has recovered. My pockets are a little light at the moment. Dang. These beggars really do know everything. I don't know where she keeps the ring, but I know who does. Talk. She eats dinner in the castle at the eighth bell. You may have to sweet. Sweet talker. I know what that means. You Time to tell her jokes, bribe her, coerce her, and threaten her all at the same time. What's what's the what's the comfiest town in this game is the real question. Leyland, Breville, Skingrad. Eh, Kvatch probably not in the running. Anvil, Coral, Bruma, Chadenhall, Imperial City. I don't know. My vote is somewhere between Bruma or Anvil. It's polar opposites. Well met. What is it now? Oh, I am Ladora Mothril. Lady Leowen's chaplain and chief advisor. I assist her ladyship so that her enlightened policies might achieve the greatest possible influence upon the affairs of County Leowen. Comfy poor towns? Yeah, that's true. With docks and pirates and rum. Although Skingrad's kind of grown on me in adulthood. I used to really not like that town at all with all the canals and everything. But I kind of, I kind of like all of like the very tall buildings and stuff. There's something sort of, I don't know, something about that town reminds me of like series of unfortunate events or something. Where everything is just this weird, everything is tall. I ask myself, make it quick. Oh, you'll like me by the time I'm done posting. Is that so? Sure. No. Gracious, what a... I salute you most. Oh, don't. Sure, that's cute. I. That's just good. Don't there we waste go. that was a good your one. flattery on. Sure, that's cute. Great. That's uh -oh. just. Don't waste your flattery on. All me. that goodwill gone. Don't. My life. Your, not bad. Not bad. Yeah, I get it. Don't waste your flattery on. Me. You're wasting your breath. My life. Oh, please. Huh? Don't try to... I, oh, there we go. I can't... Oops. Shh. The Countess has a Dark secret in somewhere in the basement that leads to her private quarters. That's where the torture chamber is. Oh, yeah. Skingrad's like the vampire Sometimes town, too. Sometimes I so can it's like hear the screams of the prisoners when I'm in my chambers. Morning, she's at the town chapel. At the, she travels to Coral on the Ides of every month. Leowin is in a state of transition. It has long been a respected county, making moderate cultural and economic contributions to the Empire. However, Leowin must move toward the mainstream of Imperial culture, both in trade and in political affairs. Wow, you were ready to I hand that opinion out cards. at a moment's notice. Very impressive. I, I'm I'm a sick sick person, um, I know. And uh, it's gonna be very controversial. But I kinda actually like Oblivion's speech system. I kinda find it's sort of fun, even though I know it sucks. Thank you, uh Neko Konata. Um I actually I'm, I'm thinking about doing other from software games for sure but I, I actually um, those ones I'm not super familiar with what is it now so I don't know I definitely like wouldn't write it off if people want to see more like old fromsoft type things the only thing about fromsoft that I would like strongly hesitate with is anything that's already like been covered to death so as long as it's out there and it's like relatively obscure then you know there's always a chance.
The fact that the game is listed as, as Jackrabbit 2 is very interesting. Yeah, it's not the right way. Oh! Oh! Wait, not the basement. Hey! Thank you, Yashimaru. The two dollars. Appreciate you. Oh, the basement? The basement? I don't know why I didn't just see that that's what it was before. I hope there's brooms in this chest. And calipers and tongs. We were all eagerly awaiting a ninja place. <laughs> Shame said nobody ever. Potatoes, make sure you put the crab meat in that barrel over there. Uh, secret passage, you say? My ears are open. Unironically love a ninja boy. Wow. Unironically, really? Entirely unironically? Or maybe a little bit of irony, right? Just see some oblivion positivity. Oh yeah, I'm 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 an oblivion positive person. We'll see you later, Bane of Orion. Welcome, Josh Licious. And a big howdy to you. Metal Wolf, yeah, that would definitely would be an interesting. I am the president of these great United States of America. Honestly, I've got way higher hopes for Sky Oblivion than I do for an official Oblivion remaster, to be honest. I think the passion and dedication behind Sky Oblivion is probably just going to be higher than anything like a contracted dev will be able to do for Bethesda. At the very least, I think the, the projects will be able to sit alongside each other. Yeah, we were talking about that Ultima Underworld thing. That's super cool. I'm I'm looking forward to tucking into that when I do an Ultima Underworld video. I I literally can't go anywhere without stealing a bunch of alchemy equipment. Divining the Elder Scrolls. All oh, right, I got a plant. To... I like. Wait. Did I get it? 
Oh, maybe I gotta wait until she's here sleeping, maybe. Uh-oh. Uh, <laughs> she's looking a little dicey. Takes it off at night. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's okay. I think I can make it out of here. Pretty easy. Oh! Stop! Such you violated violence. the law. Pay the court a fine or serve <laughs> your sentence. Your stolen goods are <laughs> Such violence. He runs up to punch me in the mouth. I don't think I sequence broken. I think I just got to wait until uh, she's here sleeping so I can take the ring from the only thing is, I know how Oblivion guards work, and they tend to just stand there for 24 hours a day after they get stuck in a situation like... Oh, and I'm trespassing. Wait. Oh, is it? No, Countess. Uh... <laughs> er, M, uh... They think I'm a statue. They think I'm the world's most grotesque statue. Put a lampshade on me. That's why they call me Lamp, see? <laughs> what is this guard doing? Maintaining a respectful distance. <laughs> Why? Isn't there a bug that can occur with this quest? I mean, that's probably true for just about every quest in this game. <laughs> oh, he's faking me out. He's trying to make it look like he's gone. This is so weird. Why did he come here? Oh no, the guard doesn't know what to do. <laughs> oh, he's not leaving. He's only become more steadfast in his search. <laughs> okay, I know somebody's in here. Maybe I can swoosh on out of here. He's a beautiful guy, though. Hold on, let me get a closer look here. Oh, I'm not trying to cheat, actually. I think he's out of here. I won! I won! Okay, well, guess I'll have to go back through the secret passage. At least till I'm not trespassing anymore. No, oh, secret room still trespassing. I haven't seen a skeleton yet, actually. Speaking of secret rooms. Okay. Still. Still trespassing, eh? I mean, really now. It's uh, the Castle Leo in basement. I'm a taxpayer. I should have access to the basement. Okay. I um, feel like that's pretty reasonable. Most uh, people are asleep at 2.35 in the morning. Well, not you, but most people are.
I don't think I have any any invisibility potions. Unless I like stole one without noticing. But I don't know. Hopefully the quest is just like work fine now. Sometimes uh, part of being a Suma thief is that you need to wait and be patient, even when it seems like they'll never leave. There we go. There we go. Oh, man. Could it be? The Count? Sleeping, fully clothed with shoes on? I'm still not ready for a level up? Oh, no, actually I am. Oh, well. Oh, come on. Don't come in here. You know how untoward it is? <laughs> Thief, eat your heart out. No one is the wiser. Last time I had a swig of the skooma? Oh, it's been a minute. I've only had one bottle of skooma this entire game. The opportunity just hasn't presented itself yet. So we can safely assume that Lamp is, like, going through periods of both, like, intense sweating and, um, like, intolerable chills. Thankfully, due to my frock, I'm so charismatic that nobody, and I mean nobody, will have noticed. All this for a hundred gold, eh? Well, we all gotta start somewhere. We gotta start somewhere. Why does the prey... Does the hunter... My ring! Oh, thanks to the claws of the clan mother, you have recovered it. Knows me. Is that slimy Argonian dead? You have earned the reward. The Thieves' Guild was always good to Adaji's dearest mate. Swift hunting. Most excellent. Well... Report this quest in, probably call it a stream after that. Pretty good start though. I enjoy this, I'll probably stream this uh, next time as well. It's a, it's a perfect game, it's in the intersection of like funny, interesting, chill, can interact with chat. You have returned. Can do some missions. Good work. You are truly an asset to the gift. I am promoting you to Prowler. I'm a Prowler, baby! Congratulations. I have a small problem that you... That buffoon, Hieronymus Lex, has invaded the Imperial City yeah, we've waterfront. Been this. Imperial watch guards from all over the city prowl the streets. Hieronymus Lex has vowed not to leave until the Grey Fox is in custody. The Fox... The poor of the waterfront are kindred to the Grey Fox and will not betray him. However, cubs soon get hungry. Soon someone will break. Many guild members could be jailed. Find Methrodil in the Imperial City. She is coordinating the guild's response. The hunter... 
Okay. A little save in here. <laughs> These save pictures are very interesting. All right. Well, thank you, everybody. Thank you for coming down. Thank you to my loyal wrenches. Pretty sure Jess probably is knocked out right now. But uh, appreciate you guys being here. Appreciate the support. Thank you for the kind words about the Kingsfield video. I'm really glad to hear that uh, everybody liked it. Well, I mean, not everybody. Everybody who said anything about it, though. Uh, really means a lot. It's really good to know. Make reassures me that uh, the future will hold many other weird games in store. So anyway, cheers, everybody. Have an awesome rest of your weekend, and uh, we'll see you probably next Saturday. Later.